wonder you couldn't hear me. Is that your new tape? Star-Lord? Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty far out! Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma! What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, well, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Really? Mm hmm Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and... You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, we'd look up at the stars and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Right. Peter Quill. Quill, Quill, Peter Quill, wake up. Holy crap, Drax. You gotta stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin her mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises. Oh, it ain't just a junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Just think of all the tech we can find. I am Groot. Hey, it's only illegal if Novacor finds us inside, which they won't. Groot's right to be nervous, Rocket. Don't underestimate the Novacor. I am Groot. Oh, come on. Am I the only one who ain't scared of the galactic police? They've got the numbers on us. Ah, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I am Groot. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confident. <laughs> <laughs> arrested? For what? <laughs> Our ship just accidentally slipped into the quarantine zone. Oops. Our navigation malfunctioned. Oops. Gamora? Up here, Peter. Hey, that's my chair. Oh, 
Then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. Ah. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing, feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. Okay, here we go. Rocket crew, Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Nova Corps security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. And if we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Nova net still up? Thought we were going in. It appears the Assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the Betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor codes are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. 0451. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort, designed to integrate. There. Restraint wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacor had 12 years to get rid of the heavy-duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Ronan. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overhaul. Plus, there's good money in it. The piece that we seek is far more valuable to the Monster Queen of Seknoth Nile than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <laughs> friend? For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Clark, yeah. Group Quill suit up. Team Rocket's up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the Assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? What? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks to the drop site. The ground's too unstable to land a ship. You'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, group. <laughs> Don't worry. Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. For one, done. Meet you at the rendezvous point. Mora, take care of my baby. It's ship Peter, not a child. Oh, oh. Can you imagine? You find something we could sell? Nah, just some old correspondence. You know how I like to brush up on galactic war history. Um, uh, no. Don't think I've ever seen you read anything without pictures. I read plenty of non-picture stuff. I'm thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. 
So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that spanned the entire galaxy held together by... Pink goo. Oh, look! Yellow and blue! Looks like an old Novacore frigate. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy, why do you even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I could name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so why here? Flap broke, Rocket. We need a big break. Aren't you tired of eating Yarrow Root? It's so... mealy. Listen, this is a restricted zone. Whatever monster lives here... You know, I like this. This is fun. The three of us, hanging out. Just like when we started this gig, before you-know-who joined us. I do not hate everybody. Come on, Rocket. Drax and Gamora are valued additions to the team. You're only saying that because she's listening. Is that why your plan has Drax and I being the ship? Maybe. Hey, can't a guy want to spend some quality time with his friends? Whoa! Pretty sure that way's a dead end. Uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Path's this way. Come on. How can you even tell? Just trust me, all right? Hey, group. you think we can find pieces of the Tryon Shard in here? You never heard of the Tryon Shard? Pyramid of pure evil that corrupts everything it comes in contact with. Making things up. Name one time I ever made something up. Ah, shut up. Ask Gamora. Bet she's heard about the Tryon Shard. Hey, Gamora! I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on. I know Thanos had his hands on it during the war. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Quill, tell... Uh, where's Quill? What the hell is he still doing back there? How'd you even know the other way was a dead end? Because, unlike you, I have a very keen sense of direction. Well, I'm okay! Uh, I'm okay. <laughs> Didn't scare you, did I? No. Aww. You were worried. That's cute. Uh, shut up, both of you. Guys, this junk isn't as stable as we think. Uh, that is one big mushroom. Uh, fungus, bacteria, mold, space gunk. You know, call it what you want. It's still in the way. Take that, brittle stuff. Splatter. Hey, 50 units says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the? Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the flarkin thing, it might as well be my stuff. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. <laughs> I'm thinking right in front, through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's grim. I'm Groot. Uh, yeah, try not to think about it. It's better not to wonder what happened to him. Ah! Ah! Amazing! I should have been recording. Bridge over. I want to see if he's alive. I'm Groot. I don't know, but he's twitching. Flarkin, Scott Stain, Quill. You okay down there? Yep. Yeah, just, uh... I thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay. There's a craft out Novacore missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. This brings back memories. How much of the war did you see, Rocket? Only the best to have when he was doing other jobs. Whoa! 
are? Trying to bring the whole place down, Quill? I shot a thing. I get it. First tool in the old tool. Ooh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Aw, oh, hey, little guy. Whoa, what the fuck? You dead, Quill? You can hear your woodsy squeal even without the car. Little busy! Yo, Quill! That's cheating! You guys should have seen that. It was this weird blobby thing. Not falling for this again. Sorry to burst your bubble! He told us to go! He'll be fine! Everything okay over there? Quill nearly got himself eaten by a blob or something. Should have heard him squeal. You must fight with dignity, Peter Quill. Or at least die with it. Not funny. Be warned. I was attacked by strange creatures when installing a thumper. <laughs> Must be working then. What they look like. Spine door with multiple uh, Quill, we got a lot riding on your gal pal's mystery monster tip. I hope she's legit. I'm... Like you could even tell if she had an honest face. I'm... Trust in the plan, guys. Everything is checked out so far, right down to the mining ship. Put our thumpers in the right places, and we'll bag that monster. Aqua Mother of Scott! Move! Oh! Oh! Are you kidding me? Son of a smack! That was too close! You okay, Groot? Well, we're fine, but we can't jump that. You don't gotta jump. There's a sturdy support beam on this side. Get Groot to grow a bridge across. Just ask him nice like. He does it for me all, right, all the Groot. time. Let's see that cool vine. <laughs> One hell of a party trick, big guy. Gross! More ship eaters! Ah, oh, they're everywhere. All right, back to business. Boom! Right under your nose, Quill. Ah, oh, I can't stand these things chewing up all this beautiful salvage. Groot, I found a hitch. Can you latch onto it? Hey, Greenies. If you see any blue and gold ships out there, you let us know. We have seen many such ships. He needs active ones. We haven't talked about what to do if we run into a Nova Corps patrol. Uh, we'll restrain them until you're done here. Bad idea. Those cops are all connected through their stupid helmets. If you see cops, you get my ship out of here. Even if it means leaving us behind. Uh, flark the... Okay, here we go. All right, set her down right there. Yep, one to go. Flark! No, no! Flark and Skaggy! Attack and batteries fried, that's what's wrong. Maybe you put it down too hard. Let's just find a solution. The solution's a new battery, with a gun. Okay. We're on what's left of a ship. Found something with a charge. Kind of looks like a spacey car battery. Okay, this thing isn't gonna zap me, right? The chance is minuscule at best. You'll be fine. Here you go. That'll do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So uh, watch my back. Watch it from what? Rocket! Help me scramble some critters! No, 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 Scott! If I don't rewire this fast! Fucking monster thing! Everyone get ready! Ugh, it's like popping a zit! Ha <laughs> ha! Get him down, dude! Go 
in time. I'd like to see you fix it next time. Come on, two down, two to go. I don't see any way out of the missile bay except that passage, bud. Groot's wondering if the reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? If the two of us gotta lug that monster all the way to Lady Hellbender, don't expect us to send units to your next of kin or nothing. I don't have kin. My family is dead. Survivors split the money. Man, that thing is ridiculous. Think it was a ship or a robot? That's a Cree Century, a robot, but it would have been space worth. <laughs> that ain't even the biggest one. They designed at least five experimental models twice that size. How do you know all this? Because they were my fellow experiments back on Half-World. Most of my parts came from the cybernetics hangar next to the door, so, uh... I got a sneak peek at all the new killbots. I could see the parts come and go from my, uh... Uh, my cage. Didn't mean to open old wounds. Yeah. Most of them are just scars now, anyways. I wasn't even a person to the worst of the Kree's mad scientists. More like a real smart walking gun. A very talkative gun. <laughs> yeah, that part was an accident. They tried to fix it a few times. The entire facility was the problem. I wish I'd gone back and blown it up before the end of the war. Need you to shoot a bridge right into that eye socket. Now, I want to see you do that to something in combat. Wait, is that? Yes! I'm about to win this bet, Well. Here goes nothing. <laughs> We're inside a giant robot head. And I got robot parts inside my head. Inside a giant robot head. Found a nest. Rocket score. Ooh. Hey, Groot, what do you think I should do with the units I'm about to win off Quill? I mean, when he gets money and then gives it to me, since I'm winning. I know what I would do with the money. I would save it up for our next stop on Contraxi and get one of those Zeronian massages. Keep dreaming. Don't congratulate him. Let's see. When I beat Quill, I'm gonna get my hands on some rotating hyper circuits. Boo! No one knows what those are. You know what, Quill? I think it's unfair. You got two guns, I got one. I think my points should count double from now on. That's cheating! Alright. It's not gonna piss off every critter around, right? 
Sorry, Quill. Not taking no chances after the last one. I gotta test it real quick. Not again. Rocket! I only flipped the switch on and off. Gotta love that kill radius. Cut him down, dude! <laughs> At least we make a good flag! That's the spirit! I'm loving this! Lost another one! We're just killing party favor! Burn it! I thought we were safe! Oh, come on! Now we gotta deal with junk slugs? Don't gawk at it! Shoot it! Very helpful, thanks! You're welcome! Now stop distracting me! Do we really need to test these things? Yes, we're not taking any chances! Bye-bye, little guy! I know, right? What was that worth? Five points? Oh, come on! You can't just give yourself points like that! Team, team, looks like we're done installing our... Bumpers! Great job. We'll meet you at the mining ship. All right, mining rig is right there. Of course it's secure. As secure as a broke-down Shatari shipwreck's ever gonna be. Yes! The resin can hold a stupid warship! <laughs> I'm telling you, it's totally safe. See? I'll even prove it. Huh? Look at this. Uh, rocket? Oh, fuck. Guys, jump! No, no, no! at the mining ship. I don't want to make him wait. That's it? We're not going after him? He says it's fine. We'll meet him later. Team Rocket, is everything okay? Where's the signal this went dark? radio must have broke when he fell. What happened to your timber companion? He ain't timber. He's alive. Uh, group just took a different path. He must have fell and broke his radio. Uh, yeah, that's it. Why take a different path? Team Rocket, over! <laughs> Hope that got rid of him. Uh, sounds like green team's off our backs. Now we can stop worrying about that uh, dumb accident. Groot's fine, anyways. There's nothing to worry about. Whatever, right? Like you said, Groot's fine. Everything is fine. Exactly. We're all fine. Sure, sure, fine. Man, if that afterburner kicked on right now, we'd be toast. Let's hope it don't, because we have to find a way through this thing. 
This turbine's right in the way. Gotta get through it. These things open up to let gas through, right? There's a drone access tunnel over here. Can you squeeze in there? Knew it. Rocket, fix the thing. Rocket, clean up the mess. Rocket, crawl into the mystery hole. See anything? Yeah, a manual override. Team Rocket, we hit a snag. One of our thunder points was covered in resin, so we're gonna fly around and scout another spot. Just make sure the new spot is as close as possible to the original one. Because of maps and angles. Great. Another turbine. Yeah, that is how these things are usually built. Floor! It's stuck on something! And... Boop. Someone's been practicing. Come on! Let's get out of here! We're back on track. The mining ship ain't too far. Think Groot's already ahead of us? Maybe. Hope he didn't get distracted. Cap, 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 cap! It wasn't me this time, I swear! I don't like this! <laughs> One for me! That point don't count if we're dead! I'm gripping this thing with muscles I didn't even know I had! Chris? <laughs> Ow! Larkin, son of a... I told you I saw this. Great timing! How did you guys... Good to see you two. We're gonna want to cross the ship as fast as you can. We're seeing a lot of movements. Yeah, Scott's getting real violent out here. Uh, just try to hold her still for us. That's not gonna be an option soon. This position is untenable. Tracks incoming! Watch out! Run. so much when you can't see in the dark. Ah, I think I felt a panel. Yeah, there's wiring in there. See if I can get the systems back on. How long is this gonna take? Oh, come on! Lark and tensor joint, just neat. Uh, wiggle the... Okay, so life support boot back up. What's it look like out there? Oh, mother of God. It's just... Swarm of old cleaner bots. Maybe. Old cleaner bots. I don't know.
Hey, buddy. <sighs> Sorry about the shoot. Yeah, thought you were that freaky thing we accidentally released. Sorry. We saw some cleaner bots, <laughs> accidentally, at a distance. We're totally all right. They just ran away when it saw us, right, Quill? Rocket, I'm not so sure that swarm thing was inoffensive. I feel kind of bad about releasing it. I am good. Quill took a pot shot at this massive worm nest. A chunk of something fell off, and the big floaty creature came out of it. That's all. Here you go. Rendezvous coordinates are that way. But we'll have to find a way around the rubble. I'll try to find a side passage. Look at this old beauty. A table. This is a vintage Model T engineering workbench. They don't make them sturdy like that no more. Hey, come on, Quill. Let's see if this beauty still works. Maybe I can fix up your gear? Hey, hand me that part. One shiny upgrade, nice and crafty. Here you go. Yeah, there's a way through, if we can clear out that drudge. Oh yeah! Nailed it! And, uh, thanks for the upgrade. Perfectly safe, right? I don't trust your definition of safe. Uh, seems a little wobbly. You guys hang back a sec. This place is crawling with ugly! Guys! Not alone down here! Holy crap! This is the most punchable thing I've ever seen! <laughs> no! More blood! There's always more roaches! Man, Rocket, you really missed out! That was amazing! Team Rocket! Finally! We couldn't hear you before. Something about the mining should have been messing up our comms. Yeah, something really ain't right in here. And Quill fell down another hole. Another one. I'm parking the Milano, but Drax is out there searching for you. Maybe you'll find Quill before we do. Try to catch up there. Guys, we really need to get better at the buddy system. He is not my buddy. I will find you, Peter Quill. Describe your surroundings. Huh. I wonder if Rocket knows what this is. It's not a question of luck. Peter, make some noise so we can find you. Drax? Oh, another freaky thing! How freaky? Kill it! You read my mind. This thing refuses to die. I can barely scratch it. Kill it harder! I'm killing it as hard as I can! Yeah. 
serve him a new one! Cut to the chase! Sharp, colorful, and deadly! Let's see that fancy footwork, Gamora. Bet you can't do this. That is physically impossible. <laughs> ding ding! Round two! Okay, sort of making progress. Drax, think you can heft that container? Behold the might of a Katathian warrior! Remember this moment, should you ever think of crossing the assassin. All right, Rocket. We're back on track. Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, good for you. I am it ain't stealing if it's abandoned. We... Oh, fuck. Rocket. Not now, Quill. Rocket. Perhaps he has located our monster. We don't even know what it looks like. The intel was extremely vague. It wasn't vague. It was... rushed. It's probably some cute little... Nightmarish abomination. Lady Hellbender is a renowned warrior. The ideal specimen would reflect that strength. Like I said, something scary. I disagree. Strength is endearing. With a name like Hellbender, Gamora's probably right. It's gotta be something scary. Nightmarish. A proper apex predator. Snarling and nasty. More teeth than all of us combined. Bat-like wind with razor tips. Probably spits poison or acid. Or acidic poison. I hope all these are true. I yearn for a worthy challenge. Ever see the remains of a planet after one of these things, Minded? We mine old planets? Everybody needs to be as fast as possible. Many systems out there are now just scattered debris. Are those systems uninhabited? Depends on who's doing the drilling. Why do you think the monster was drawn to this ship of all places? Sustenance, no doubt. Maybe the ship's engines are still vibrating after all these cycles. Or they draw sustenance from something that is leaking. Radiation could explain our comm problems. Perhaps they are scavenging old food stores for sustenance. Hungry, Drax? Yes. Whoa! Careful! Well, you got some time and we got company! Gamora, slice! We sit from the last thumper! We haven't even placed it yet! Say, it's barking scary out there, Quill. Fork darts on the field, danger on all sides. Then it's time we stand and face it and make sure they're nullified. Are we heroes to be laughed at? No! I'll laugh at them instead. Who's with me? Wise words, Peter Quill! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Branch out, crew! Let loose, Rocket! Perish! I'll just destroy you all! Hey, not all of us! Payback time, Scott Stains! They will pay in blood! You got this, we'll pull over a boat up! Prepare yourself! Glorious! Bring on our 
monster. Forged from battle. Didn't need to hear that. Come on. Last bumper spot is this way. How do you know? My senses are fine-tuned to measure even the tiniest vibrations. Really? It looks like it's still got some juice. Give it a go, Rocket. Watch it, genius at work. You are a miracle worker, man. This tech was built by people who make holes in giant floating space rocks. I have to say, that is an immaculate parking job. Thanos never tolerated him. Yeah, yeah. This is it. Last spot. Can't wait to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, sunshine. <laughs> Is it, uh, doing it? What? It appears to be broken. Ain't nothing broke. That's the sound it's supposed to make. What sound? You can't hear that. Hear what? Oh. Our monster. Definitely not a monster. Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektorf 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state of the art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. Guys, seeing what I'm seeing? Yes. Now that is a monster. All right. Enough with the warm up. Time to catch us a real monster. Let's get paid. Whose name is that? Definitely not cleaner bots. Watch it! The whole place is crapping out. We gotta get out of here! Now! Curse these volatile ruins! Crash, go! Someone play this man a song! <laughs> now we're talking! Watch the ship! I'm watching, I'm watching! You wait! Rax, what are you doing? I am holding my buttocks as Peter Poole instructed me. Watch it! Someone give me a hand! <laughs> am I right? How about one upside the head? Heads up! We have debris incoming! Blow it away, Well. Time to thread the needle! Don't even think about it! Quickest way through is through! Peter! Do you fear dying with a guilty conscience, assassin? Don't you get go on my ship! My ship! Oh, that's it. Let me drive. You're gonna get us killed. We're not dead yet. Me! 
maybe we are, and this is hell. Do not be ridiculous. This place lacks the eternal frost of Sarduth. Your hell is frozen? The Tathians do not like to be cold. Try putting on a shirt! See? Peace so Truth says watch out! Yeah, thanks for the heads up! No, I've got this! Clearly! Watch it! Don't get us killed, Quill. There's still so much stuff I want to steal. We ain't gonna make it. Hit the blue button! What blue button? The one for the secret boosters I added! Can you please stop adding things while I'm asleep? Punch it, Peter! Now is not the time for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Whoa! Fuck yeah! Definitely a fan of the blue button! We're shot on all sides! We ain't gonna make it! We'll make it! Maybe! There's the exit! See? Home stretch! Your last breath! Yeah! And that's what I call a win, people! How's that a win? Our monster just got eaten! Whatever you can fly away from means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it. Uh, please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. It is Novacore. Say Hal's hope. Um, <clears throat> there's a uh, this uh, thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Uh, not really. No. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter. Jason. Quill. Really? My middle name? Hey, Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Come on, Corral. You know me. We've been to hell and back. Sure, I've done some shady stuff since the war. Like, really shady stuff. But junking? I just caught you pink-handed. Leaving the quarantine zone. Technically, yes, but we weren't scavenging. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the, uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill, of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXP-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please, tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech, more than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a Class Three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Hide rockets crate. Peter! You're willing to gamble on a space llama thingy? I'll convince Corell the llama's harmless. She knows me. And I know Corell. I like I did. 
You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop back then. The point is, I can get us out of this, guys. You just gotta trust me. I am good. Oh, and that would be your boarding party. No time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacore licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the Galaxy? What? No. Rocket! So, I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of... Most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer. Convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero? Often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? There was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. <laughs> Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? And if I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. We don't need a Plan B. I got this. No. You do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoners. Watch the jacket. Cadet Gold. You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. Everyone just do what they say. When I see Corral, I'll explain... The captain isn't going to see you. According to protocol, you're to be taken straight to the brig. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power. No containment. The techs are looking at it. They say that... They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier Breaker. Leader of the Church of... Universal... something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God. Right, pirates. Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. The difference is, I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Just to be no! super clear you on the mom... Stop. Nice to meet you, Nikki. 
Okay, Nikki, here's the plan. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like... Trust me, kiddo. We got this. during emergencies. Pretty sure I can override them with my passkey. They give out override keys to trainees? Not exactly. Just give me a sec. You no, know, I could probably help if my jet boots worked. Regulation 3C. Never reactivate foot gear. Come on! If I can fly up No! To... You're my prisoner! And I got this! Obviously. Oh! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. We sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge here. Whoa! <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. Okay, this way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? There's another blast door down here. Whoa! Are you kidding me? Relax, you're fine. I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now. Okay. I can do this. Not to rush you or anything. Most there. Can you please stop squirming? I'm trying to focus. Okay, okay. Yes! Got it! Through here. Whew. <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star-Lord. Or Peter, or, you know... You have a cadet butt saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Give me the good news. They're all fine. I mean, they all have life signs. So, what's the bad news? They've been processed and put in the brig. In case you thought the explosion would give them a chance to escape or something. Hey, we're innocent, remember? Come on. We'll be safe through here. Flark! Pipes must have burst. Did we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Easy does it. There, see? You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. Are you seriously trying to sneak away on me right now? You literally just said I was doing great. You are doing great. Top five best arresting officers I've ever had. Cool. So can you please just show me the same respect you would any other arresting officer? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. Unbelievable. Yeah, I get that a lot. Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it's. I um I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogrammed most of them. And gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. Give them a personality. Very cool. Come on. This way. Okay, wow! <laughs> Just blatantly gonna ignore me and go crawling into a dead end. 
Regulation 2B. Prisoners must stay close at all times. Really got them all memorized, don't you? Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, a, is, a real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy, and judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep. That's her. Where do you think you're going? Just making sure this place is safe and secure from the, you know, fire. This way. I'm still in charge here, you know. Of course you are. It's a dead end. Trust me. Of course I trust you. Clearly. Any day now. Right, right. Just taking it all in. If this is an attempt to escape your mom's ship, I really need to know, because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Oh, wow. Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? I definitely prefer this to the brig. We're not staying. I just need to check on Ultimo. His gyros have been all screwy. Take your time. A universal translator. Wonder if it speaks Groot. Hey, this is Mercury, right? Uh-huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the... Hey! Secret stuff. Off limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before Mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like, I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So... You get where I'm coming from, right? Like, if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. You don't want her to know about your secret hideout. I get it. Uh, yes. And also everything else. Everything else, like... Like me having a passkey that overrides parts of the ship. The whole official trainee thing. Um, me being anywhere near the hangar bay. You know, just me in general. You never saw me. Almost at the elevator. We're... Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. <sighs> Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A-OK. -okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hala's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how rounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well, you have every reason to be proud of her. 
Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level. Captain's quarters. Fine. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. <sighs> what, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah. I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! Initiate not lockdown. All good for systems go. Activate. Voice print not authorized. Just trying to help. We don't need your help. You're the last person we need help from. Well, you clearly need some form of help if you're trapping us in an elevator. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything! No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger. And that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay. I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security. Or through the hangar bay checkpoint. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. It was me. Yeah, all those locked doors back there, I, I hacked them. You hacked them? Yeah, I'm a hacker now. I, I hack stuff. You know, beep ba boop 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 beep. I told him it was restricted. That doesn't explain the falsified orders. I don't know what to tell you, Mom. Your security staff have been sleeping on the job. All I know is I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage lockdown. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can make it 30 cycles! So, rough day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. You have no idea. Chewy. I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Twelve-year-old daughter, who you didn't have during the war. Twelve years ago, when we... Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 8,000 units in three cycles? Wow, okay, that is a lot of money. I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a Class II biohazard wandering around your ship. That's all they found, right? Okay, okay, you'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on... I would show you just how very close we are. 
Why do I feel like I'll regret this? Oh, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it. Promise. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five. Three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship. And you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 8,000 units is a small price 8, to... 8,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. <sighs> I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor Definitely a rodent. Definitely gonna have to ask Rocket about I this a stash later. Aboard this ship, fetch it now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the Dash Quarantine Zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother someone else? I and well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units. We appear to be seven thousand nine hundred and sixty-three units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know. I know. We clearly. Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always there. holding out my on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will star sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic mountains yeah, of Kakarot. Sure. Guys, I think we should hear our group for once. I am. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters. And you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. 
He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you you are complaining about the sh I don't go into your room and touch your stuff, Quill. What? How many of you super soldiers were there on Half World? It's just a reminder. What exactly did the Kree do to you? I'm sorry you had to go through all that rocket. For real. Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out, and... Who's Bluebird? Uh, Gamora, I was just... Who are you talking to? I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll see you around. I hope y'all like walking, because this is gonna take a while. Eh, it looks broken. Groot! Hey, buddy. I was glad we had this little chat. I am Groot. Awesome. Cool. Hey, Groot. You think I got time to build a sonic umbrella? I am Groot. Ah, oh, come on. It's only gonna take a tick. I am Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. Out! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously. 
seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. We must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get. That was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! So we're still doing this? Yes! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off! Good advice! should have gone to Mako 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. It would be wary, Rodin. Nah, you know, when I survive freaking half world, I think I'm scared of some little. But what? It's not alone. Get ready. Round them up, crew! Perhaps these were sent by Lady Helper. Let's see that sword! Never see it around here looks like? We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? When all else fails, shoot stuff. Words to live by. Having fun? Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodent would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Well, I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. <sighs> Great. We made it halfway up. Now, there they are. All right, Rocket. That wind control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Ah! 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 Ah!
sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Don't let there be a space bear in here. And hello, mystery goo. Monster eggs. Yay. Okay, so note to self. If it looks like a monster cave and smells like a monster cave, and you're on a monster planet... to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary magic. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. What's the weirdest monster? I once saw a brood transformed regalian wearing a Clintar parasite. Oh, now where'd he go? Hey, Quill! You all laying your eggs or something? That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our Quill so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs. Dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! We're not throwing rockets. Very well. You sons of forking jobs! How will we cross? 
Look around, we'll find another way. You're overreacting. I did not throw you. Only because Quill stopped you. Oh, there should be no problem. I'm watching you. No, the statues are not. Do not be so sure. I see Lady Helping his eyes. Of course they do. Wow, it is dark in here. If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster Planet, right. Shooting's not aimless. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. Drax, think you can topple this? Indeed. What's Jatari Tech doing on a backwater mudfall like this? That obelisk looks promising. Oh! I may have angered them. All right, let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk. Great place to leave a skull. Wait, hear that? What's up, people? Incoming! I have your So sure this is the way. The statues here didn't walk into place. They were carried. All right, Gamora. Three shirts this way. Fifty units as it ain't. No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. Drax, some of your Lady Hellbender tidbits are questionable. You can say that again. More or less questionable than your flying skills, Peter Quill. He's got you there. Gamora, mind cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender fears him every time you cut a piece of her junk. An old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships? Or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? No. Nope. We even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what's the whole thing? Fear. No. Just thinking someone else should cross the just go. No, you just go. Someone go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Mm. 
Easy does it. says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill. You're not alone here! Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Guys, anyone know what that is? Stumpy's running away. But that it's tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. Let's settle. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Wouldn't surprise me. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. Done in record time. Voila! So, where are we? Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Are we sure we want to go back up? I'm starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. Mora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. I got eyes on this dunked up reactor. A couple of shots to bring it down. All right. Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. This... The unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. I see. I see. Don't take too long. We got a castle to get to. I wonder if there goes nothing. Woo! <laughs> that was fun. Did he perish? Hey, Quill, you dead? No! Wow! <laughs> I'm alive! Are you in need of assistance, Peter Quill? It's all right. I'll figure it out. First a down resistance ship, now a Novacore one. Ooh, right here. Wedge it in. All right. Is this good? Yeah, amazing. <sighs> it's a 
surprised this thing has been picked clean for salvage. Yeah, any sign of the giant thing in the ravine? Oh yeah, we made a deal. He can eat fruit first. Just messing with you, bud. Can we get to the top of the ship now? Next, Will. What's that I hear? The wing cables calling down to us? They want a date with your sword, Gamora. Bring back memories! Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped in spirit. All right. Slippery wind pummel treetops, here we come. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. Took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. And she has not yet tried to kill us. How come you never give me credit for anything? Like he said, he gives credit where credit is due. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's gotten bigger, that's for sure! Ha! It is not getting bigger! We are getting closer! Looks like there's a way down here! Well, You gotta see this ship! Behold, Lady Hellbender's rack! Okay, <laughs> here we go! Oh, Slimy! Uh... Guys! You might want to wait to come down here! Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam, boys? <clears throat> you think? Some smack breach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, hit fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! It's like what? Well, Glasses, they only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, it pulls Scott like this. Like, just go do just please the guns alone. Quill, I just want to see how they tick, otherwise it might as well be magic. Or sorcery. Guys. DNA some kind of morphing nano. Or sorcery. Here we go again. up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold stuff. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. I did it! Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we gotta get the next rocket. 
I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello? It's Ari, Chip, full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah! You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat that Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Clark it! I'm blowing it up! What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps and... Ha! Look at it go! He must have jump-started the thing. Rocket, you okay? <laughs> yeah. And dry now, too. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. It is said that Lady Hellbender stands 50 heads tall. Doesn't tell you much. Depends who's head. Ever met a regalia? That is not a happy monster. Oh, man. Another murder tentacle. Careful. Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rocket. Ridiculous. We're holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. Just be a lesson to you. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like! Knock it off, guys! We're supposed to be professionals. We're better than this. I'm not. Letting the Beasley Chitauri installation stop our progress is unprofessional. Hey, you think they look like a bunch of tiny rockets trying to get out of the rain? some exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? I'm pretty sure exploring is code. It means he went the wrong way, but it's too stubborn to admit it. In that case, Will's the greatest explorer I ever met. Everything okay, Peter? Yeah, just, you know, turning water into ice. Go on. See my house from here. What are you doing up there? Scout type stuff. Scouting. Looks like we uh need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent work, Peter. I wonder if there's a common monster hunter uniform. Like are they organized or maybe even just a style? They would adorn themselves with the fangs and teeth of their prey. Yeah, I'm not pulling that off. Although I do like skulls. Their garments would be full of holes, shredded by the beasts that they hunt. Quill has that one covered already. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. You're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh, anybody else smell that? Yep, definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? <gasps> that is disturbingly fragrant. <sighs> I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Whoa! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, okay. 
Okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter. Why would it taste like that? We can use this. You know, we really got monster food. Taste, the cage. You get it? We need the cage. Taste, we go into that fortress with our with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? The more things we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast. Let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. Slime tunnel part. Itchy fur is where I draw the line. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worse. For you, maybe. I love it. Stucknark ain't never heard of roads? You'd have to clear parts of the jungle to do it, which would probably mean killing some of the wildlife. Good. They deserve it. Stucknark 9 is a sanctuary. They say that if you leave behind a single piece of refuse, Lady Hellbender will personally return it to you. In the most unpleasant way. That can't be <laughs> Deep freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat! So if we're gonna haggle with the monster, how much are we asking for our monster? What do you mean, Goku? We're running a business here. We need to make a profit this time. Hey, Quill, 
Better not forget what we talked about earlier. It's nothing. Don't worry, Rocket. Whoa, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. Ticking time bomb on the ship. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to... Let's just get this done. An infinity bridge is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Recycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you? Oh! Right! The cage. The point of even getting the Flarkin thing is looking like we mean business. Group. You ready to squeeze in? I am. Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly the rodent is I the one I am not being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style if I got it. Drac. Gamora, can you help me with this? No. What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me, I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing! Like me, only uh, bigger. I am rude. Not bad, not bad. Okay, here we go. someone else wants to pull this thing. We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. 0 0.6 clicks. clicks.
13 whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Give me a sec. I didn't think you'd actually come up. Maybe being on time is my new thing. Oh, right. We'll see about that when I have to get you up for school tomorrow. You know, I think I'm too old for that, too. Nice try, smart Alec. Sit. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's going to be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are going to be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly. PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. Okay, it's not that. It's, it's opening night and it's my birthday, you know? It was meant to be. Meant to be, huh? Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was- I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Will Dan and Andy be spending the night? You can all help me with the yard work in the morning. I knew there had to be a catch. Jealous, my plan's better. You're green with envy. Better than black and blue. Try it, lady. I got 12,000 volts with your name on it. 
I'm sure you make a great point, Gamora, but I gotta go with Rocket. For reasons. Ha! Eat Scott, Woolberry! And I mean, I know what I'm agreeing to, but just for everyone else. Can you explain that again? Uh, After we sell Groot, we sneak back in and use out. my tracking device to find him and bust him out. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is you will have. We're huge in the Kree system. What's in the box? A rare creature, last of his kind, and all-around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. I'm a talking tree. That's new. All right, get going before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Thanks, officer. Have a nice day. Officer? Whatever. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. The tree is no killer. We should be selling the angry rodent. Lady Hellbender will be displeased. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got no name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. It's a flarkin' army. Any chance they're the zookeepers with guns? I have never seen a Porthos team. I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. Yeah, like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. I stand correct. Those ain't she. Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Great question. Next time, I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Are you flarkin' kidding me? Look at this place! It'll take forever to find fruit after we sell them. Peter Quill expects you to use your insect device. Bug! What's the matter, Rocket? Getting cold feet? No, it's fine. If I can track Star Nuts, I can track you. Care to wager? Not on Groot's life, I don't. Quill made the right call. Groot's got a way better shot with me than you. The Galeran Skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Behold. A woman with expensive tastes. That's good news for our deal. Come on, we're a team. We stick together. All for one and one for all. That's... Surprisingly insightful. Did you just make that up? Uh, yep, just now. Totally off the top of my head. Follow me and pay attention. You will not approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. I am humbled by my king's confidence. Spare me your empty. Apologies, my queen. I meant no offense. I know what you meant. Do not claim me for You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. You, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would-be con artist. I assure you, I said, milady. release it. Got this.
Bring in the next seller, and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of it. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star-Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And... such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender, I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarv 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. Your kind had been wiped out. Name your terms, Destroyer. 20,000 units. 20,000? The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But it is a capable warrior and it possesses regenerative qualities. Also, it is the last of its species. 20,000 units is sufficient compensation. No. No? What do you mean, no? I mean... No. Well, then you're an idiot, lady. Rocket Drax has this. Name your terms, then. Fifteen thousand. And you stay. Whoa, you wanna buy Drax? Not buy. Invest. I could use a warrior like you at my side. I have other commitments. Shame. <laughs> we could have had such fun together. Twelve thousand for the Flora Colossus, then. Twelve thousand is not Not that effort. bad for a Flora... whatever deal. Twelve thousand units it is. Storms of Seknoff grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be. Thank you. Establishing an alibi. 
you were flirting with a Sagnarfian beast handler. Who confirmed that Groot is definitely probably being kept in the new additions pen. Which is where exactly? Well, we didn't quite get that far. Good thing we're doing my plan. Tracker's pointing back to Lady Skull Suit's throne room, so uh, that's where I'm going. Tiny little problem. Boy, when these guys go, they go hard. They're heavily inebriated. Doesn't mean they're not a threat. So my best blade work happens after I've had a few. If a few scut knuckles gotta die to save me, so be it. Whoa, whoa, hey! We are not here to start a war with the woman who's got her own private army. Now just rob her. If we do things right and be quiet, we'll be in and out with no one the wiser. Drax, what part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter Quill. No killing! Don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything. Don't do anything stupid. If we mess this up, it's game over for crew. And us. Gotta hand it to the lady. She knows how to throw a party. It was like this with the Ravagers, too. Yondu was a real work hard, play hard sort. Thanos doing either usually ended up with murder. We compare in Scuddy father figures because mine gave me a shock collar for my birthday. Once we ditch this place, I'll show you guys a real party. Uh, I will construct festive headwear worthy of this celebration. Throne room entrance is down there, so we just gotta, you know, leap our way across the chasm quietly. Gotta say, this is not what I had in mind when you pitched this whole hero for hire thing. Maybe Hellbender will give you a job. I'm not the one she was interested in. <laughs> She's right. We should have just sold Drax. Maybe next time we're in a bind, we can auction off a date with Drax. Katathians do not date. We perform feats of virility and are judged worthy or not. That how you ended up with your wife? Uvat was the most proficient killer in our village. Her affections were sought after more than most. Sounds like my kind of woman. That's it. Dead ahead. Past another bunch of lightweights. You're sure that tracker of yours is reliable? Trust me, this baby's paid for itself. Oh, you actually paid for it? I trust Rocket's do, Dad. Remember that time on Onsara? <laughs> I remember no such time. Before your days, Muscles, Quill got caught stealing eggs from this place on Sakaar. Do your magic, Rocket. It is not magic. I'm just saying, have a little faith, Woolberry. My tech built them thumpers, it's gonna pop this door, and it'll find Groot. Am I good, or am I good? Those were the same options. Okay, Tracker says... Ah, come on, you skeggy. I knew that thing was junk. Look, we saw him take Groot down the elevator, right? So we just gotta find the controls. Lady Laddie does probably got him on her fancy chair up there. We are down here. Hellbender used some sort of rising stairs. There's gotta be a way of activating them from ground level. Sycnophian night air is refreshing. Can't find a switch. Maybe we can get access to the circuitry itself. Of course, we can't just have a normal friggin' ground level chair. It was intended to inspire fear in her adversaries. It's a crime of efficiency, is what it is. It doesn't look too comfortable either. Give her the old laser eyes. See if you can spot a power source or something. You sure that tracker is fixed? I told you, it ain't broke. I don't like our whole plan relying on some trinket. Well, unless you're hiding a map inside that jumpsuit, it's the best we got. There's a control panel inside there you can hack. It's possible.
All right, Drax, try to clear that rubble. At once. Let's see what's hiding back there. Think you could have made more noise with that? Of course. But you did not ask. All right. I'm sending the schematic to your visor. Just follow the wiring and tell me which junctions to switch. Uh, here? Done. Whoops! Must be setting our soothing sounds, Volume 2. I believe those are monster mating calls. Okay, that's a little freaky. Switch this! Done. This one. Oh, here! Yep. Okay, here. And here. Got it. It's half powered, but I don't got enough juice to flip the circuit yet. There's got to be a second node. Okay. Switch this. Done. This one. Uh, Peter? Close it, close it, close it! Close what? Hey. Hey. We've got company! Killing permitted now, Peter Quill. Yes, now! Kill them now! Death has come! Let's put these guys down quickly! At least this place is insulated! Can't you follow a simple circuit path? I saw no paths to follow. Light him up, Rocket! <laughs> Well, that was not ideal. Hey, no witnesses, no problem. Maybe Hellbender won't miss them. Oh, here. Yep. Okay, what the fuck here. Was that? Uh, just a little slip. No big deal. For all we know, you may have just reconfigured the entire fortress. Nah, probably just lowered a height a bit or something. There, keep it like that. I can get up to the throne now. Better hope that panel actually works, because I'm out of things to tinker with down here. Of course it'll work. See? Nailed it! That is the wrong elevator. What? what? He's right. Groot went down on the other side. Well, it's the only one we got, sweetheart. Call me sweetheart again. Look, I'm sure they both lead to the same place. Your voice does not convey certainty. This is it. We're almost there. I gotta say, this is going pretty smooth. It has been considerably less than smooth. Okay, yeah, we had that one kink, but at least no one raised the alarm. That's what you call a kink? It'll be smooth sailing from here. What the piece of scut? Right on cue. It's not that. Something's wrong. It's Heads up, more guards. I would give a wide berth, Peter Quill. Oh, come on, you hunk of chunk. Flark! Shh. Anyone else got a bad feeling all of a sudden? Rocket, keep it down. Stuff it, Quill. Groot's tracker just went dark. You said we're almost there. I'm sure he's fine. You ain't sure he's stuck. Groot! That could have gone better. Could have gone worse. At least he didn't wake anyone on his way. The rodent has tiny back feet. these guys will have when they wake up. Let's just make sure we're not here when that happens. Does it? We are not the ones wearing jet boots.
wait for us! He did not wait. Thanks, Drax. What's with this place and no railings? It's like they got the architect from the Death Star. I am not familiar with that installation. We should probably split up. Nice. An assassin's ring. Gamora would get a kick out of this. seem well cared for. Prison's a prison. Stand back. I will breach the perimeter. It's too thick. It's too thick. Who knew? That's it. Just like the Arago drop, bud. On three, two... Oh, that dashed witch stripped you down to your bark. You know, we'd have showed up sooner, but... Uh, to Good to have you back, Groot. Now all we need is an exit. Um, I guess Groot knows the way. Hey, wait up, bud. What's going on? Say something. You okay, Groot? Shut it, Quill. What did I do? You're the one who insisted on this stupid plan. Now that freaking monster queen is... I don't know. Perhaps the tree has been bewitched. Hey, come on, talk to me, bud. What did that Badoon Flarka do it? Oh, crap. Guardians of the galaxy. You fools thought you could cheat me and suffer no consequence. Groot. Which one of you thought it wise to entrust your absurd scheme to a Flora Colossus. You call him friend, yet you ignore his very nature, overlooking the fact that he is... The worst liar in history. I told you, he can't just pretend to be monstrous. To his credit, he kept your secret for almost an hour. Lady Hellbender, let us settle this honorably. I will face you in combat. Honorably, your offer is worthless, Destroyer. There is no escaping my wrath! I can work with that. Dweller, feast upon them! Rocket! What? No! Let's see 
Time to shred him! Time's up! Max! Superman! I shall talk about this! The sound of your voice appears to enrage her! This quill, but maybe we should run. Those flarkers are all over the place. He's right. It's gonna take everything we got to defeat them. Seriously? You're talking about retreat. We're the guardians, dude. We live to fight. So bring it on. Because I say these flarkers are going down. Who's with me? I am with you, Peter Quill. Yes! Time the Make some room! That car is gonna blow! With your pleasure! Get the point! Your own weapon shall be your downfall! Take revenge, sweet! It'll be a slide! Fly with honor! Heads up! Not too late to call the shots! We have long passed that opportunity! Big rocket! This is these off! What? Well, don't get your branches blown off! Think these jiggle dudes go to jiggly heaven? Beats me! That now, though! Toss him around! No! Ha 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 ha! The end draws nigh, Lady Elvender! Come on! We got this! The explosive could be useful in cool! Feel 
Hunt us to the end of the universe. Who gives us, Scud? We got off that mud ball with the money, didn't we? Only after the talking tree betrayed us. I am Groot. I do not speak tree. Tree. Hey, you got a problem with Groot. You got a problem with me. Whoa, 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 whoa. One problem at a time. Lady Hellbender will seek her revenge. Mark my words. Then she'll have to get in line. First, I gotta call Corel. The sooner we get this fine paid, the better. Yeah, so we can go back to focusing on being broke. That's weird. Is money all that you think of, Rodent? No, I also think about bombs. And booze. <gasps> bombs made out of booze. Nikki! Nikki? Really? There's something wrong with the connection. Did you twist the thingy? Yeah, no dice. Nikki, is your mom around? I really need to talk to her. She's with me. Inside me. After you left, we went to the quarantine zone, I sent the board, and there was dark fog. Did you try narrowing the band? First thing I tried, it's gotta be something else. I'm losing you, Nick. Can you put your mom on? I knew you were my dad. God, I'm not going to wake her, said it was a miracle. I think something has happened to the girl. <laughs> yeah, it's called she's Novacore. Can you fix it? <sighs> yeah, yeah, keep your star pants on. I'll go check the array. Bring her back. I just have to... Everything. 
think this Scott? <sighs> Corel confiscated the llama thingy. Oh, llama. What is it? Who gives a flying scut? The gold domes didn't get rid of it, and now the array's fucked. I promise we'll get it fixed soon. Yeah, just like you promised to get your girlfriend to go easy on us? Yeah, okay. Hey, that's not fair. You know what isn't fair, Quill? Being the only one who actually seems to give a scut about the Milano. Look, guys. We need the dock to fix the array. Luckily, I know a guy I'm nowhere has got the parts we need. And he can get rid of that Nova track cheap. No, we cannot abandon the child. Her behavior was erratic. The llama thing you chewed the wires, Drax. It was probably just a bad connection. And if we remove the tracker, Corel will make sure the entire Nova Corps fleet is on alert for us. Gamora's right. We made a promise. I made a promise. See if you can pinpoint where Corel is. We pay the fine. Quill, are you freaking kidding me? That way, we don't have to keep looking over our shoulders for Nova on the next job. If there is a next job. <sighs> Sounds like Groot's got that toothy bastard under control. Better not come back here and try to finish chewing through my ship! Or else. Are the what? Oh, uh, yeah. Strange thing to collect. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> hey, hey, Gamora! I was just admiring this. Super. Thank you for sharing that with me. Sure. Hey, Groot! Gamora, did you find... <gasps> Are those dolls? Yes. No. <sighs> it doesn't matter. The Halos Hope's in the Teo system. Coordinates are in your console. Okay, Corel, get ready to be impressed. So you surprised me once. Looks like your girlfriend held up her end of the bargain, Quill. We know for sure it's her. Checking. Same designation as before. It's definitely Halas Hope. Well, he's the one who keeps crashing it. All right, let's pay that fine. Part of me hopes they'll at least try to arrest us once we pay that fine. Why? Never escaped from a station before. I thought Peter's deal covered our warrants. Or at least I hope it does. Yeah, you got a file too, Green Gal. Assassination isn't a legal line of business, last I checked. Of course. They'd have to prove I did it. Here you go.
small marvel crafted. Now that that's done, can we get a move on, Jelly Legs? Okay, here we go. If they so much as scratched her paints, we get Novacor to reduce our fine. Good luck with that. It's gross negligence. Negligence. That's what I said. Where is everybody? Most Nova stations are heavily automated, all synchronized by the world mind. It is unsettling. M ship, designation Milano. Move to holding space R734 PL. Present validated ticket to kiosk what? prior to Take departure. It. Let's just focus on. Okay, it's not supposed to be this empty. Is it a holiday? Space cops don't take holidays. Hello? We're here to pay a fine? Looking for Centurion Corral? Door's locked. Well, we tried. Come on, let's go. We're not leaving. We'll go to them if we have to. Look, the door controls are on the other side if we can get you there. So what, now I'm supposed to hack Novacor security? I mean, I don't think you can. Keep shot, Quill. We are discussing breaking into a Novacor facility. It ain't breaking in if no one's here. That is precisely when one would break in. There! One open air duct. Now we have damaged Novacor property. All right, rocket. See if this vent leads into that other room. And be careful. You know, I still don't love this whole pay or fine plan. Huh. There's something screwy with the power grid. It's like they're on backup only. I'm patching you through. You know the drill. Tell me which circuits to switch. We can only reroute power to so many things at once. On it! I do not care to think of how many monsters we will need to sell to pay off this fine. We're in plain view of security and no one's come running. That's a door. Hey, it's a bathroom! Anybody gotta go? The only place I wanna go is out of here. Watch and learn. This thing's got false positives all over the place. Hey, that sort of worked. The floor, Peter! Sorry, sorry. I'm not much of an electrician. Presto! What out? You know, ta-da! That is no more clear. Doors open. It is conspicuously silent. Good point. Hey, Nova! We want to pay our fine and get your Kodrakin tracker off my desk. The more is right. Keep it down, Rocket. Something's off. Exactly why we should get to the Milano and go. As soon as we've paid our fine, we need to get rid of that Nova tracker. Well, there's more than one way to shake a tail, Quill. The rodent is most qualified to speak on tails. Oh, poor little guy. It is a thing. Your sympathies are redundant. Someone out there! I'm half thing. Uh, hey there. You are Nova. What gave it away? Whoever y'all are, come here a minute. Hey, jumpsuit. You gotta get me out of here. I don't belong in the cage. Nova Corps begs to differ. Well, no one asked you, scary eyes. We should not be aiding and abetting a criminal. Weren't you a Nova Corps prisoner? What are you in for? What? Nothing. In case of mistaken identity, they mistook me for someone who gave a crap. Ooh, I like him. I'm back at you, Wendell. So how about helping the guy out? See if there's a door release or something. Go. So we just 
gonna leave that guy to rot? The last thing we need is to get caught freeing some criminal. We're already in enough hot water with Nova. Is Peter Quill implying he bathed with the Nova Corps Centurion? Wouldn't put it past him. Now this place brings back memories. You once served with the Nova Corps, Peter Quill. What? No! But I had to stand in a lineup once, maybe twice. <clears throat> anyway, good to be on this side of the glass. One, two, three, four. Nope. Screw it. I ain't making any progress here. I'm getting a real haunted mansion vibe from this place. Uh, elevator's out. But the shaft above looks open. We can use it to climb up there. You expect us to walk on that thing? It'll hold more than the five of us. Please don't fall, please don't fall. Okay, piece of cake. <laughs> Ooh, spooky. Hello? This one gets its own room. Looks like a workshop. You know, I hear they anodize these things with some kind of Sindarian smart metal. Metal cannot be smart. Smarter than some. The whole station can't be uninhabited. It is not uninhabited. I like it better. It's more nothing. There's got to be an explanation. The House Hope is a capital ship. Maybe they're all there for some reason. Or maybe this whole place is contaminated with Vormirian pox. I am experiencing a mild itching sensation. Yeah, and I got a real pain in my ass. Rocket, do your magic. No. What? I said no. When are you gonna come to your senses, Quill? I am Quill. And then what? He's gonna drag us halfway through this station if we let him. Okay, we try one more room, and if we still haven't found anything, we leave. Deal? Fine. One more room, not two. One. more shifts. I heard they got uh, staffing issues. From who? People. In places with uh, other people. Peter Quill. I found this. Sector 1, check in. Sector 1, sweep complete. 75% acceptance rate. It is as she promised. Have faith. The promise will be made real. Proceed to Sector 7. With faith. Well, the good news is we're not alone. There's lots of chatter. Tell them I want my ship back. My ship. I sense there's a butt. But it sounds like they're searching for something or someone. Could explain why no one's around. Well, who gives a flark? Tell them to get their golden butts up here. The promise will be made real. Proceed. Yeah. Let's keep looking. Or we could focus on getting off this Fracactus space station. The door's flark, remember? There's ways to inflark things, Gamora. Believe me. Bombs don't count. What about that? Where do you think that goes? Down. Good enough for me. Hey, what happened to one more room? You said the door's busted. I'm sure it's just a little further. You ain't sure a scut. Something's not right. Oh, Flark. Dishonor Flark! I am Groot. This is a mutiny. It was an execution. I ain't never seen cops kill each other. We've got to play this smart until we know what's going on. And which side survived? All right. Everyone 
would stay low and follow me. There's something off about them. Look! They're flarking glowing. Seems a safe bet these are the bad guys. Go! We need a plan. We should seize the element of surprise. Are we really gonna open fire on Novacor? They don't look like Novacor to me. Remember, big guy, but these Flarknards are destined tough. Yes, it's tough out there. But have you forgotten who we are? We fear none. Flarkin right. Because we've never known another way. Shoot from the gun, cross us, and you know you'll pay. Poop with me! Die, thieves! Feel it? Let's try to avoid... That opportunity has passed!
do not think our fine will be paid today. You don't say. Guys, Corel's ship is right there. We just need to... What? What do we need to do, Quill? A whole bunch of whacked out space cops just tried to vaporize us. And you want to go looking for a rematch? Because your, your girlfriend might be in trouble? That's not what I'm doing, and she's not my girlfriend. Could have fooled me. Rocket! The only thing that this is about is getting our ship back. We find Corel, and then none of this is our problem anymore. You're right! It won't be our problem anymore. Because we didn't sign up to be run around halfway across the galaxy by a, a cop loving human! I am proud. Come on! Seriously, Corel? Join the Guardian, she said. It'll be good for your mental health, she said. <sighs> All right. Listen to Flark up. Groot and I are getting off this dast rock. Anyone who'd like a ride can follow us. Everyone else can go to hell! I prefer the rodent's plan. So we tried. Is there any way for us to track where the hope went? Why the scud would we want to do that? There could be survivors aboard. Or more of those... Rocket, come on! You come... And we are! I'm on board! Let's find the Milano the and- Intruders reported in the repair bay! And try not to die in the process. First sensible thing you said, all cycle. All must see. All will You don't will think this believe. sort of thing is happening at Nova Some stations everywhere? <laughs> intruders in C junction! Looks like we're fighting our way out! Don't allow us to free our body! I prefer an everlasting counter with Nova Corps! Hopefully all Nova Corps isn't like these guys! Rex, cross it! Destroy! Yes, we know we're here now! Let's put them down quickly and push forward! Time to shred them! Like a hot knife! Are we certain these Nova Corps are the enemy? Blowing is a universal sign of bad guys! I do not have corners! Because they're bonkers, that's why! Corners ain't really my thing. Just be careful with those balls. Any idea where we're going, Rocket? Oh, uh, don't you start. I'm just asking. Uh, we came down an elevator. We're gonna need to go up one to get back to the hangar. I got all the guys to use. Now's your chance, Gamora. Are we certain these Novacar are the enemy? Feel free to stop and ask them! Little crowded in here! This hardly qualifies as a crowd, Peter Quill!
one left to alert the others! Are we certain these double car are the enemy? Glowing is a universal sign of bad guys! This is not where I thought this day was going. Find the invaders. None must escape. Hey, you said we needed to go up, right? Never thought I'd be fighting Novacor again. They are no longer Novacor. Yeah, this don't count. But who or what are they? What's with that glowing? For once, let's keep our noses out of it. Maybe Corel took her ship back to Xandar to report. <laughs> Look. Are they praying? What the hell have we wandered into? Check out that big guy. Don't look like no Nova to me. He's a sorcerer. Behold the magic flowing to the altar. There's no such thing as magic. Right? Come on. Let's get moving before these whack drops spot us. It's like we stumbled on some creepy cult. I told you, it ain't our problem. It will be if they've taken over Nova Corps. No Nova? No fine. No problem. We should probably tell someone. Eh, tell it to your diary. Come on, down here. How do you know? I don't. I'm just putting distance between us and those whack jobs. Nice to see you listening for a change. You cannot see listening. Don't use- So, you think- Yeah, I'll deal with the door. Someone's gotta get- there. Whoa! Purge the faithless! Fucking ah! Turn it! Look out! Knife to meet you! Don't blame me! Blame well! Break the breathing room, They better watch there! We should have trusted the Roman Zeus things! Breathe. 
You sure you can get it open? You're gonna second guess me every step of the way? I'm not! There, let's go! I wasn't second guessing, I'm just. Sure. These doors have been barricaded. Means someone at least tried to resist. That lot of good it did them. We don't know that. There could still be others on the station. Or maybe those were the survivors who fled on the Hallows Hope. Were we in the same elevator? Those Nova barely got a shot off before they were gunned down by them glowy ones. I think Rocket's right. Don't patronize me. I wasn't. You're just trying to make nice, now that this whole thing has gone to scut. You didn't listen to me about selling Groot, and you didn't listen to me here. What do you want me to say? You were right, Rocket's right, we should always listen to Rocket! <laughs> it's a start. <sighs> what would make Nova turn on Nova? All right, hangar here we come. What the flark was that docking number? R73-4PL. Are you serious? Always. You're my new favorite person, Muscles. I'm Groot. No, not real. There. 4PL, done. All right, bay is clear, extending catwalks, and... Flark! What's up? The clamps won't release. Those whack jobs must have triggered a lockdown. Can you override it? Wouldn't be much of a lockdown if I could. I can hold her in position and get the engines warmed up, but you're gonna have to release those clamps manually. All right, release the clamps and don't die. All faithful, converge on the central Let's hangar. Deal with None these can escape Focus her on life. The clamps, Peter. We'll try to keep them off you. One down. There's another one. All right, I'm hooked into the Milano system. Where's my tubes? I got your scotty terror music. No more incoming. I would wager we have avenged the fallen Nova Corps. I just hope Corral and the kid got away on that ship. Let's get these in. And turn up the music. Engines are hot. I got her! Careful! You wanna do it! Do you think you'll have any left for another round? Get ready! We should set course for Contraxia. Lay bare our issues over a cold catastrophe. Ooh. I don't hate it, but... We should report what we saw first, right? Because that's our biggest problem, Quill. Come on, Groot, we got Scott to do. Rocket! What's with him? The abomination is never happy. Rocket's got a point, though. Our comms are flarked, the tracker's still counting down, and Corel could be anywhere in the universe. <sighs> it's not looking good. We are in the place between hard rocks. You mean a rock in a hard place? That is what I said. Helen knows we could use a night off. So, Contraxia? We should go to nowhere instead. Ah, another suitable location to partake in liberal libations. To report what we saw. <laughs> Me and Cosmo go way back. He's chief of security. He'll make sure the right people know about the rock. And the tracker and fine? Rocket's got a guy in nowhere. We kill two birds with one stone. Okay. I'll set the coordinates. Maybe... talk to Rocket?
What does killing two birds with one stone signify? It means solving two problems with a single solution. Ha! I knew it! There are no birds on nowhere. Depends if she are- So those coordinates? They're in your console. Got it. Nowhere, here we come. Best black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wonder what kind of person found it was like, Oh look! The severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare. Very valuable. The marketplace came after. Along with noodles. You are certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? Of course. He's chief of security. And nowhere. And as such, probably deals in Novacore all the time. Trust me, he's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. See you never, Flarkbags! A rocket and Groot, did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? Well, did you end up talking to Rocket after he stormed out of the rec room? Don't think he was in a talking mood. Fine, whatever. We'll talk to Cosmo and then we'll go out and have a good time. Like I said, we go way back. Plus, he's probably already heard about what's happening. All we do is confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll even give us a reward. What about Rocky and Groot? What about them? They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? You could apologize. That's your advice? The apology does not need to be sincere. I guess if we ever see him again. Big if, by the way. But if it happens, then maybe I might think about it. Anyway, once we let Cosmo know what's happening out there, we'll have more time to think about what to do with Rocket. If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Why? We have not yet spent our ill-gotten gates. Where do we find this Cosmo? We head to his tower on the far side of the market. That's where he keeps an eye on things. Cosmo again. I guess I kind of miss the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope. He met right here. Back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Whatever bad stuff we all did is behind us. We're the good guys now. Right. Heroes for hire. Except no one will hire us. Maybe Cosmo will have a fetch quest for us or something. He might even come out ahead on this. Keep an eye on your things. These coops are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. Did they have fortune tellers on Earth, Peter Quill? There were people who claimed to be able to see the future, sure. The soothsayers on Katath were unable to predict its demise. No one could predict what Thanos would do. Matt Titan will pay for everything that he... 
Nexus, what are you? Do you still have those suicide allergies? What? No. Huh. And you thought joining a team would be bad for you. Hi. Sunlord, right? Is it Rockstar? It's Star Lord. Hey, that's right. I forget which version of you I've met. Did you do the thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? No idea. Hi. I don't know if we've met yet. I'm... No. No, no, no. It's not... Oh. Oh, No, he's lying! I mean... Oh. By the Kotatis, he wrote. The broken promise of all will be met. Less depressed. Thanks. Don't worry. It's always weird the first time. Celestial Madonna! Ah, uh, fuck. Hi, guys. You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. <laughs> I think. No. Yes, this is where I need to be. Or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> yeah, okay. You're gonna keep making that face. It was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy. Green Mimi. Okay, bye. So, Gamora, you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. You're being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? I'm not gonna ask, but if you wanted to talk about it... <sighs> we met after I escaped from a failed job. I, I was in bad shape. I'd probably be dead if Mantis hadn't found me. She saved your life. Yep. End of story. That is not the end of the story. I know, big guy. Let's just not push it right now. So, you want us to bring them back here? Not necessary. Transport will be waiting once you catch the target. That'll work. We'll be in touch. Ah, let's go, Groot. What's the big idea, man? Think you got me confused with somebody else, pal? Come on, Rocket, let's talk about this. <laughs> Can you believe this guy? You can't just quit. We need you. Oh, well, uh, I don't need you. Find some other sucker to keep your shit together. You're more than just... <laughs> Not anywhere. Eat a queer. Uh, actually, maybe we can stick around for a bit. Can you please? Last time I see you, you was running away from Mordelia. With your britches. Off and done. Get ready for a fight. I'm always ready. What the? I don't know what's going on here. But I thought we was friends, Eater. Or did you forget about me? No, no. <laughs> no, I, uh... I don't remember meeting you, man. Sorry. What? How the hell could you forget? Look, look, there was a couple of years there where uh, things got a little bit blurry, okay? They're, you know, picking up missions, strange women, alien alcohol. So just like now? I can't believe this. You and me, Storm Riders, together 
until the end. What is he talking about? Oh, 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 it's a song, right? It is. Of course it's a song. The one that was playing when Peter and me made our unbreakable blood oath. We did? Unbreakable blood oath? That is a serious commitment, Peter Quill. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. of course, I, I remember. You, me, uh, the, the, the music. Tells you what, Peter. How about you and me? Storm ride together! One more time. Here we go! You, uh. You know to sing a song. Together till the end, gotta finish the fight. Cause this storm gonna rage till the end of the night. Come on, Lita! Together! Rolling like a hurricane, ride, storm, storm rider, storm rider, storm rider. Very naughty. Bartender, get me a cocktail stick. I need to poke my ears out. Come on, man. What? Let's sing the next line. More! Together till the end, now we look to the sky. Lightning strikes twice, now it's us to the fly. Sing with me, Vita. Driving through Ooh, the pouring rain. rain. Ride, Ride the song. So ready. Oh, come here. Oh! Uh... Come on. For Flark's sake, let's go, Groot. Good times, good times, good times! You running the ravages now? I hear Yondi's doing time in the kill. <laughs> Me? Me? No, I, I got a new crew now. You? Still doing that, uh, thing you do? No, sorry. Novacor. Now my partner on Molivia. <laughs> but that's okay. I, uh, got a new business partner now. Into animal husbandry, you can say. Huh? So, ain't no animal gonna have no husbands after she's through with them. <laughs> Which reminds me, my best be going. Oh, really? That's too bad. Ah, well, listen, Eater. I uh, want to apologize for almost shooting you. Oh, <laughs> you weren't actually gonna shoot me. Oh, I would have uh, right in the head. Oh. But that's not the way to treat a storm rider, is it? Right, so I got you this instead. Uh what is it? It's a ticket for Collector's Emporium. Yeah, I bought it thinking I'd have time to go and check out the oddities. Well, thanks man, that's awesome. Yeah, my pleasure. And remember... left the bar once he realized he would not be killed. Uh, great. Something's up. <clears throat> I need to leave. Uh, 
something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. What was that? Drax! Watch it, Star Lord! Watch yourself, jerky bread guy! Can you believe that? Talk to Cosmo alone. Captain Todd, are the midway? Ready to try your luck, or is it skill? Couldn't be simpler. Find the bow, win the pariahs. What do you say? This isn't one of those games where I have no chance of winning, is it? Captain, Captain, Captain. Don't you know your onions, Captain? The good Bolshevik cleaned up the boardwalk. No grip, no grab, no cheat, no cons, no sir. So I can win. How about this, Captain? We play a friendly low stakes game just to prove that I'm on the up and up. What do you say, Captain? What do you say? Fine, I'm in. But don't try anything funny. Not me, Gavin, not me. I run my game straight as an arrow. See? The ball's in this cup. Now, keep your eyes glued as it moves. All right, all right. The cup's out. Uh, the middle one. Well, I'll be. You got it, Captain. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations. You got a shot pair of peepers. Here's your winnings. See? My game's on the level and plumb true. A game of chance means you always have a chance to win. Yes, you're right. Sharp as attack, Captain. How about we play again? Maybe raise the stakes just a smidgen? Uh, I better not. I'm not feeling very lucky right now. My team, my friends, they... Sorry to hear that, Captain. Can't really help you there, but I can offer you a bit of destruction. Terran detected. Alter sales profile to 5 r 6 tn Skip right up, skip right up. Easy money. What happened? Nice. Are you serious? You want to play? Why are you taking it? Current jackpot. Estimated. Are you serious? You think you'll actually win? No. What is this place? You have stumbled into the wonderful Emporium's gift shop. Would you like to purchase a souvenir? We have some very unique items. Maybe. What kind of things do you sell? Replicas of very rare items. Figures and effigies from lost civilizations. Objets d'art, in other words. Figures? Like dolls? There's a member of my crew, a woman, who might like that kind of thing. A boorish person might call them dolls. But that is neither here nor there. Tell me more about this person. She, uh, also likes swords. Or not, what does she like? What is she like? Oh, distant and tough. But I think maybe there might be some squishy bits in her somewhere. Ah, I believe I have the perfect item. What do you think? Would you like to make a purchase? It's just the right kind of creepy. <laughs> 
She should love it. A magnificent choice. I presume you will forgo the silk gift wrap. Yeah, this is fine as is. Very well. Enjoy your purchase. Good day. Maybe a gaudy bauble will make me feel better. Might as well get something to commemorate the time my team ditched me. That's actually pretty cool. And buying it made me feel better. Cosmos in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. Sisu. Nowhere security. Super official. Go out the way. Ali. Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo not in tower. He out there, Star Lord. In Ali. Wait, how did you know my name? Go, or end up in Cosmo Prison. You choose. Cosmo! You in here? Cosmo! Sure, not weird at all. Cosmo is definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Okay, just gotta find Cosmo, then I can deal with the team. If I can find them. Peter, there's something out there, but I won't tell you what it is. Because I think being distant makes me mysterious. Who's there? Oh, 
I hate mazes. Especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude. Deep breath. Deep breath. Look at you, Flark and Hume. Bet you end up inside one of them processing machines. Flark! I give myself a heart attack. What's a filthy scut stained Terran doing out here, Rawson? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that. We might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, guys. Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terran. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? The... Uh, I heard nowhere. Hmm. Well, maybe it says Star Lord. Either way, get him! We've been hired to clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, 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 lots of people have jackets. Yeah, but you're the one the lady wanted. So hurry up! Die. Wait, the lady ain't want him alive? Dang. <laughs> uh, uh, lady H? Whatever Lady Hailbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice. You don't cross Lady H. Uh, the triple. Uh, I'll, I'll triple it. Yeah, man, I'm wrong. Would it help if I said I'm sorry? Get over here. Make pound. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, time out. <sighs> Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks, but we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. <laughs> 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 Draw them apart before shooting, Peter! It'll be a slice! Now this is almost a fair fight! Your unit here is good! I don't want teamwork when it's on the other side! Break it slow! Gonna get a beat! Been watching us since we landed on nowhere! Stop! 
Sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Mom. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. I knew you wouldn't wait. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space... Oh, Mom... I know it sounds crazy and that you've never believed me, but... Something has changed. And now, more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. What do you mean, important? He was king. Of an entire world. Called Spartax. Far, far away. And he was a great leader. 
And the way you look after people, Peter, I know you're going to be just like him. But leading is never easy. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really want to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're going to have to be smart, too. Things may get messy. I'm gonna let Kubrick out. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sick. failed your mission, miserably. Peter Quill, these lackluster bounty hunters claim Lady Hellbender hired them to kill us. Hey, we're no slouches. We're part of a league now. No, no, no. Not a league. It's a legion. What's the difference? Don't know. Do you guys keep it down? I need to think. Hope you think better than you fight. Huh? Because he couldn't fight very good. I get it. Peter Quill is a mostly adequate warrior. Ouch, dude. That was a compliment. Won't be long in these clabber traps. Not us. Mm -mm. Friends will be breaking us out soon, though. Real soon. Then you'll wish we did, Q. Be silent. Nice that you finally showed up. Would have been even nicer if you didn't abandon me in the first place. I never left. One minute, we're having a great time, and the next... Wait a second, did you use me as bait? Huh. Well, your plan worked a little too well seeing how we're in jail now. We're all in prisons of our own making, Peter. Hey, this is a big mistake! I'm innocent! Cosmo, are you out there? Cosmo! Hello? 
Cosmo, I really need to use the bathroom. I am Groot. Yeah, get your mitts off of him. Ow! The little bugger just scratched me. Oh, I'll do more than that. I'll murderize you. Ugh. <laughs> hey, guys. Didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, cram it, Flatnard. Flatnard? Yeah, and a scruff crew in one, too. Shut up and get in there. <sighs> Come on, dude. What's your problem? You are. That's why we quit. <laughs> yes, you did. Now stop talking to him. Rocket, buddy, come on. We had a good thing going. You and Groot are better than two-bit bounty hunters. Scoff. What did you say? I said scoff. You don't say scoff, you just scoff. Oh, so now I don't express myself proper-like? <sighs> you know what? You're a real piece of... Rocket, dude, woof. We should've whiffed you in when we whiffed the chance. <laughs> like, whiff we are. You don't woof woof woof. What? You rough in front of me? I told you a bajillion times, I'm not a roughing animal! What were you talking about? You rough is this? Where are we? You would have been still on no. Osmo! How you doing, buddy? We were just about... <laughs> Guardian of Galaxies will tell Cosmo why they broke into Continuum Cortex. Or Cosmo will conjure worse psychic Golag. Broke into the... the... Do not feed Cosmo Cat Biscuit's Peter Quill. You work with Blood Brothers. Create distraction, so pesky raccoon and sentient tree friend can use continuum cortex. Cosmo also know Guardian of Galaxies have Nova Tracker on ship. Okay, I'm sure it's just one big misunderstanding. Right? Right. We're here because something happened on the no oh. Guardian of Galaxy, we're on Nova Rock. Yeah, we went to find Centurion Corral and pay our fine. Why? Strange transmissions spreading across galaxy. Like rabbits in springtime. Cosmo sent many team to investigate, none return. Now Nova Rock sending same signal. Guardian of Galaxy will tell me what they saw. The Nova Corps were killing each other. It was like they were drinking funky juice or something. Or joined the cult. Yeah, during that ritual with the priest. They kept talking about a promise. <laughs> right away, sir. Fraternity and Raptors. Cult of the Negative Sounds. Universal Church. Whoa, 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 stop. <laughs> that's them. That old man that's with them. Shuttle exploded on the Hallis Hope. Grand Unifier Raker, leader of the Universal Church of Truths. That name ring bell for Cosmo. His old cult. Very powerful during Galactic War. Now, not so much. You said the rock was transmitting a signal. What if the religion were somehow... And yet, the Universal Church of Truths died with gold skin God. Let us investigate the Hallow's Hope for you. <laughs> what? You said none of your teams return, right? Seems to me like you're short-staffed, and we want to find out what happened as much as you do. We do? So let us investigate for you. Always a catch, Peter Quill. And not, not fun, fun kind with Paul. What Guardian of Galaxies want in return? Simple. Drop the charges. Contact Nova Corps HQ and get the world mind to forgive our fine. Then we'll go. It's not being so easy. 
Face it, Dog Breath. You need us. Us? For now. Unless you got someone else stupid enough to go. In Soviet Russia, Cosmo would not trust words of capitalist scum. But this is not motherland. And Cosmo no power of collateral. Guardianship stay on nowhere. What? You can't take our ship? My ship. How are we gonna find the Hallow's Hope? Ask Pesky Raccoon. Now come, essences of time. So where are we going exactly? To original settlement. From early days. Before Kiva could come. You mean the first mining colony is still here? Duh. Now abandoned. Mostly. Entirely restored. Uh. This is the place you broke into. Broke implies it took effort. Wait, this is the Continuum Cortex? It's the best way to reach Nova ship before moves again. You found Corel. Where is she? Nova ship currently in the leader system, orbiting Michael planet. Contraxia. Cosmo not surprised. Pesky Raccoon enjoy garbage planet. Their restrooms do provide valuable information. Entire planet now broadcasts same signal as Nova Rock. Cosmo not understand purpose or intention. All them bars and bedding parlors and brothels. Maybe it's not such a bad thing after all. We can find Corel and save Contraxia. Maybe we shouldn't make too many guarantees. We're the guardians of the galaxy. This is what we do. I am with you, Peter Quill. You are? Of course. That was a rousing speech. Bootlicker. How many people know about this place? Enough. It's not broadcast across galaxy, but scientists come from many backgrounds. If Thanos had known this was here... Ah! So, what is this? Like another elevator? Oh no! They'll figure it out. Please to stand back, Guardian of Galaxies. Whoa! What magnificent witchcraft is this? I know! It's like they've never seen a giant transdimensional hand before. Please to step in ball. What if things go sideways? How do we get back? With passport. Can communicate with Cosmo, and if emergency, bring Guardian of Galaxies back. I boot. Better you take it than Captain Valor over here. This time, investigate Nova ship. Use passport to report findings. And you'll speak to the world mind? Get rid of that fine, right? Cosmo the best. Good luck, Guardian of Galaxies. Anyone see any seatbelts? You better not throw up this time. Sorcery? I was going to say dizzying. I am You get used to it. Are we in space? We're somewhere between space, between dimensions, between time, between reality, Xavier. What do you mean, between? We could theoretically go wherever and whenever with this thing. Even the places that don't exist, but uh, do. It's incredible. Oh. Avengers! Assemble! What kind of name is Avengers? Is that sound normal? <laughs> normal? You ain't heard nothing yet. Oh, Pat Benatar and Joan Jett watch over us. Who are these gods you speak of? Goddesses. <laughs> uh, Drax? <laughs> I am not the one laughing. It's obviously an ill omen of our impending deaths. No matter where you hide. I will find you. Or it's an alternate reality. <laughs> I know that sound. I am proud. Definitely an alternate reality. <laughs> hey, no! It's Spider-Man! Wait, is that Earth? Mom? Come on, your date for the promise here. Come on in, Janie. Peter will be up in a second. Really? Janie? Okay. 
Next stop, Palace Hope. Probably. Hold on, Groot. Here we go. <gasps> Flark and Palace! breath! Okay, here we go! Whoa, this cannot be Flark. the correct. You guys okay? Do we look okay? Well, hang in there. I'll try to restore gravity. Oh, great. We're gonna be stuck like this forever. Rocket, buddy, what am I looking for? Drax, tell Scut Lord most ships use external power conduits to generate pseudo gravity in hyperbaric airlocks. The beast says to find a power conduit. Right, and what do those look like? Tell him any vestiges of power should show up on his visor. Okay, I've got two conduits here. Someone tell him to turn them on. Nothing's happening. Gamora, tell him to check the power supply. It's empty. Then tell him to find a battery. Did you catch that? Yeah, yeah. Might be just what we need. Then pick it up already. All right. I'll have you guys on solid ground in a tick. Okay, got us a battery. Took him long enough. Hey, I'm trying, man. And we're still floating around. Something terrible happens here. What gave it away? The lack of gravity or the general destruction? Both are on Okay, I got the battery installed, Gamora, but nothing's happening. Seriously? Uh, fine. I'll tell them. Listen up, slug breath. Tell me what you see. Uh, there's a blue wire and two connections, yellow and red. And one big green thing. Don't touch the green thing! Not a great time to start yelling, dude! Okay, okay. First, plug the wire to either connection. All we need is a little jump start. Uh, here goes nothing! Oh, crap! Store. You had one job, Quill. I did exactly what! Uh. Uh. Impressive, Peter Quill. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> Neither did I. Those firearms are becoming quite formidable. Second time they've transformed like that. Should we call Cosmo? Let him know what we've found so far? What do you mean, a code word? Fine. Groot won't call the mud until we all agree on a code word. Could be useful if we get cornered by whatever's on the ship. The code word is sweep the leg. And we should hold off calling Cosmo until we figure out what's going on. We should also standardize our use of the term dog report item. That'll do it. Dog report item. Something caused Nova Corps to abandon their ship. There, you all felt that, right? Yep. The same thing happened when I tried to restore the gravity. Dast. Looks just like what happened on the rock. Indeed. It was a desperate attempt at a last defensive position. Good bottleneck for it. Everything that happened seems to be connected to this ship. Maybe your girlfriend went crazy after seeing you. I doubt Peter Quill could inspire this level of mutiny. Okay, we need to get to Corell's office. Someone tell Quill. Come on, dude. Knew this would come in handy. Where'd you get a Nova Pass? Nikki gave it to me to keep it away from her mom. We could sell that. It must be worth a couple thousand units. Do you know what Nova Corps does to people who steal from them? <laughs> Look around. How much you want to bet there aren't enough Nova left to execute us? What do you hope to find here, Peter Quill? 
Nikki had all kinds of secret passageways on the ship. Maybe she left a message or something. You were fond of this girl. I, I guess. I mean, we actually had a lot in common. Kinda reminded me of me, you know? It doesn't matter. I just want to make sure her and her mom are okay. No way! Drax's rap sheet! He's gotta see this. Oh no. Please don't! This maintenance worker, Peter Quill. No. You seem relieved. I am. What the fuck are you two doing? Still nothing but emergency power. Dog report item. Power outage in several sections of the ship. What are we missing? Let's run through it all. We got arrested by your girlfriend. As did the churchman Grand Unifier Raker. And then his ship exploded. So maybe that's where it started. Raker might have had something on his ship. A gas, maybe? The explosion could have released it. I've used something like that before. Wish I knew the layout of this tub better. Then we could figure out where this started. You know where we are, Gamora? Not really. Anova never really let me out of their sight. They had good reason not to trust you. This again? I was only stating the position of not trusting you. It's accurate. The longer we bicker, the more we might miss. Very inspirational. Yeah, you get that off a of placemat? No wonder we've been stumbling around in the dark. Whoa, ho, ho. look at you, you sexy beast. Ah, uh, flirting rocket. Is it supposed to be upside down? Eh, only if you wanted to channel all the ship's power up through the ceiling. Makes no sense to me. There must be a reason. A bad one. Try that console. Eh, uh, we can use this to re-invert the core. Or, uh, uh de-invert. Uh, de vert Rocket. Ah, uh, the console safety lock, because the mounting arms are retracted. If we can pop them out of them side panels, we can flip the core. There's gotta be more machinery up there. Gamora, give me a boost! Of course! Definitely something up here! Hell yeah, it worked! You know, them guns would make better engineering tools than weapons. Nice try. Let's get the other one free. All right, Gamora, let's get the second one done. Okay. Gonna, yeah, right there. Going ahead. What's that console telling you? That you should come do the honors. Okay. Surprise! 
guys. This whole thing's a lift. We can ride it all the way up there. I guess Nova grunts and grease monkeys don't get the cool flying suits. Typical. Nobody respects their engineers these days. If you want efficiency, you gotta make... Whoa! Lock! Foggy clamps! They're shutting us down! More freaks approach! Lorker's key re-inverted the floor again! We just have to re-key re-invert it back! After we take some heads! The big one! Just won't lie! Now is the time to strike! Let's make him feel! Chop him off! Drag! Destroy! With armor! It's not the shield, it's the mine! Enough already! Oh, Larry! Big one has mine! Tie them down, crew! Definitely not the Nova Corps I was hoping to find here! At last! I was growing more! Better than a cup of coffee! Death has come! Yields in the way! I believe the electrical bummer turn is a priority! Nomura! The assassin has sent on the large one's equipment! Peter got hit? Shocking! Hit him down! Chop, chop, Nomura! I would not dismiss the raid! Might want to check on that! Work for that fancy pants Nova Corps on the right square! So, let's take that Barely a flesh the world just got new! Attack in mind! Lark off! What's next, Peter? Ice Ice Baby! Alright, let's get those clamps off so we can keep moving. I will tear them from their sockets. Ain't gonna work, Musclehead, but this time we've got a control room to play with. Perhaps the Nova Killer knows how to redirect these machines. She has experience. I was an assassin, not a saboteur. Same results either way, right? Would you rather paint with a paintbrush or a mop? Neither. I use explosives. Somebody else does the mop. Drax, I need a hole here to reach the grid. Then you will have one. Buddy, root boost, please. That's another power node. I see it now. We've got half of it rerouted. Now work on the other room. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. Might be gunning for your job soon. If you want to trade? I'm happy to sit in the captain's seat. You frequently sit in the captain's seat. Did not just hear that. Got a locked door. Can you open it? No. Can you route power to it? Not from here. I'll try to find a way around. Rocket, think you could boost me up there? Maybe with some. I don't think so. Thereabouts. I am Group, a little help? Here's good. You know, normally you're not supposed to travel through dimensions without a quarantine and a decompression on the other side. Should we be concerned? Just keep an eye out for the warning signs. Mental degradation, paranoia, aggressive behavior. I feel like that's already an accurate description of our team. How will we tell? Huh. What did that open? Kinda 
wondering why Cosmo didn't fetch a bunch of his books to do this himself. Uh huh. Another power node. Looks like you did it, Star Pants. Now get into the control room and hit that clamp release. I'll re reinvert the core at the same time and get us moving again. Doors open, and I got the power flowing through. Almost qualified to be a junior engineer. Thanks. He's always right there guiding me. Peter Quill is insinuating that you, Weasel, could be the cause of our problems. Uh, hurry it up, Quill. Lumpy's bugging everybody with his color commentary. get without your button pusher now that we know the infected nova are here we can agree that whatever's going on upstairs is really bad right they were furious when we removed their power source it must be important to their effort you can't wait to smash it whatever it is and then get back to cosmos for our reward all right this is our floor these doors are sealed tight Drax, hit that panel where all the wires connect. <laughs> Step aside. Come out to the coast. We'll get together, have a few laughs. What's that? Uh, nothing. No, that. They must have flipped the core back. Something's powering up again. Great. Now we're stuck in the ventilation. Great job, Quill. Dude, I know you're peeved, and I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Really? That's it? In case you hadn't noticed, there's more important things happening right now than Quill saying he's sorry. Whoa! Flark and Scott! What are these Franklin Gaboons doing to Contraxia? What is this thing, Rocket? I don't know! Looks like it's siphoning something! Something to do with those cubes? Quill, we have been in this hangar before. It's like they're stocking up on something. Root, we need to check out that giant ray thing. Can you get us across? Dog report item. We gotta destroy this thing. Oh! Let's avoid the scary beam! Good advice! Guardian of Galaxy, suppose we'll check it. Investigation lead him to believe Alon is key to Galaxy Mystery. What is that noise? We are compiling an extensive dog report. Atraxia isn't looking so good. Uh-oh. What is... Uh-oh, Piotr Quinn? Something just came up. We'll call you back. Your experience fighting Centurions will be necessary here, woman. Right out! Toss him around! You struggle in pain! Guys, huddle up! I cannot fight beside you any longer, Rodent. Your battle skills are sloppy and erratic. My skills? You've got all the subtlety of a brain-dead battering ram! Say the word, Peter Quill, and I shall single-handedly tear these fiends apart! Whoa, 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 guys! These insults you keep tossing around? Are we a team, or should we just throw each other's lives away? Because the only thing that matters here is that we knock them out together. Who's with me? I am with you, Peter Quill! Can't wait to take him down! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Rocket! Fireworks! Ah, Scott! How do we fight a flying enemy? I'd have hoped the jury is resistant, whatever this is! Get the point! No! Mercy! Some of the boring planets instead! They are beyond being reasoned with! And on the ground as well! Just looking for Corral! Maybe you've seen her! Good! Try to keep Drop them distracted! Down. 
down, crew! With pleasure! Aim for their torsos! Let do anything besides feed them off! Order up! Get down here! Let me shoot you! Tell us what's going on with your tracks here! They refuse to answer and therefore must perish! Get some real answers. You have any idea where she is? I'm thinking we check her office. I even know how we can get there. You know a way out of the hangar? Yeah. Same way me and Nikki went last time we were here. You know, we never did talk about why you jumped after her, Peter. Uh, because it was the right thing to do. Huh, that ain't right. Rocket, you see where that vent leads? Anything to get out of here. You should be prepared. Drax, I'm gonna need you to drag this over. I will assume you have a plan. There you go. I've done my part. Yeah, thanks. We need to get out of here. It's the perfect place to be ambushed. Ah, I see what you were thinking, Peter Quill. That's right. Just like I planned. Just like I thought. Impressive work, Peter Quill. Just hope it does not cause an explosion. Well, let's not stick around to find out. All right. Come on. The tunnel's just past here. We got lucky, no one. The Unifier has detected an intrusion. Spread out. It will be contained by, by her, her will. will. There's too many of them. In the hole! Jump! Dog report item. The rumbling continues. Still don't get why you jumped after the kid back then. Top ten dumbest things I ever saw you do. You should have seen how worried he was. Hey, Star Pants was our ticket with the captain. I was worried his death would lead to more jail time. It was adorable. I hate you all. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, group. I think I know my way around. We just need to get into the tunnels on the other side there. Pretty sure this is right. Pretty sure? Everything was on fire last time. I couldn't make that happen. No, no. Rocket, no! Ain't that a piece of the Unifier's old ship? Unifier. Yeah, whatever. When we were arrested, they mentioned Raker got caught for the same thing we did. Not exactly the same. He got caught scavenging in the quarantine zone. Nikki mentioned something about fishing for a god, I think. The kind of deity inhabits the quarantine zone. The kind that should probably stay quarantined. I did not realize you and the girl fell down so far, Peter Quill. I didn't fall. I jumped. Heroically. So, we all agree that the captain and her kid are probably dead, right? Corel survived the worst of the war. And a relationship with Peter. Still willing to bet they didn't survive this. You'd wager on whether or not a mother and child are dead. We're not betting on this. Be careful down there, Peter Quill. Yeah, definitely a lot sparkier than last time. What do you say, Gamora, now that the floor can't kill us? I say, no problem. Well, definitely no sign of Nikki or Corel. I mean, I guess that's good news. Whoa, watch out! You okay? I am Groot. Groot says we should start thinking about exit plans. I am Groot. 
The exit plan is to call Cosmo after we get the answers we need. Answers you need, maybe. It does not strike me as very safe here, Peter Quill. Better this than getting shot at. Eh, speak for yourself. You'd rather get shot at? More fulfilling to shoot someone I don't like than look for someone I don't care about. Our leader seems to care, and so we should also pretend to care. Careful, Peter Quill. Okay, don't remember this green gas being here last time. I think you mean deadly green gas. This whole ship's a death trap now. I'm sure there's a way to unburst these pipes. There, breezy peasy. Okay, that was bad, even for you. Ah, more death gas. Maybe Nikki and Corral are using it to protect themselves. Or, and hear me out on this, maybe they're dead. You know what, man? You're being a real jackass, like, way more than usual. Tension is palpable. Oh, can you both please get over there? Agreed. Either resolve your issues or fight to the death. Look, Rocket. I know I suck sometimes. We all suck sometimes. Pretty sure it's why we ended up together. I do not suck. Point is, I care about us. But right now, we're not the ones in danger. And Nikki's just a kid, man. As long as we're clear on the you sucking part. Clear as day. You sure this is the right way? Just keep your eyes open. You know, Peter, if Nikki and Pharrell really are... They're not. I'm just saying we should be ready for anything. They're not. Find a dog report item. No, nothing dog report worthy. And still no signs of Nikki or Corel. In the face of death's infinite mystery, Katathians are taught to focus on what is tangible. I'll keep that in mind. Dog report item. The rumbling continues. Nikki's secret hideout is just through here. Thought we were going to the captain's office. We are, right after we check here. Try not to break anything. This place means a lot to her. Oh, wow. Did Nikki paint all this? Pretty cool, right? Nikki? Little one, reveal yourself. Maybe try being a little less scary. It's Peter. The, the pirate. Rocket. You got the body of a little girl. Can you fit in there? Try again, Quill. Ask him nicely, Peter. I knew this would come in handy. Where'd you get a Nova Paskey? <sighs> Careful, Peter Quill. In my experience, children often booby trap their toys. It's not Nikki's, it's mine. So we're just claiming our stuff now? Because if we are. No, I mean, it literally used to belong to me. Uh, Quill, you gotta see this. This kid's obsessed with you. Wait, why does she have your toy? It's just something I gave to Corral when we were together during the war, like a keepsake. It doesn't mean anything. Does, uh, this mean anything? How old is the child? Twelve. Ha! Congratulations, Peter Quill! You will make a terrible father. Unless the child is dead, in which case, it does not matter. W wait is this why you dragged us here? Clearly. The child is 12. This doesn't prove anything. The dates match up, so what? It's not how paternity works. Uh, it kinda is. Was Corel ovulating at the time? I don't know! We thought we were gonna die! Can we just focus on if Corel and Nikki are okay? They're clearly not here, so let's move on and keep looking. Anyone else feel weird going through Nikki's stuff like this? Peter Quill is her father. It is his duty to pry into her personal life. Should be a way to Corel's office through those pipes on the left. 
Yeah, I see an opening. Could be there's a latch on the inside. Allow me, Star Dad. <laughs> I, I get it. <laughs> Guys, can we not make light of all this? We still don't know if they're okay. Got to admit it, Quill. Kid's whole setup is pretty impressive. The way she rigged her terminal to the emergency power grid. I told you, she's a smart kid. Perhaps Peter Quill did not sire this child after all. Yeah, I could see that. She just don't seem dopey enough. Maybe she gets everything from the mother's side. Yes, she should have exhibited at least some foolishness. Maybe it's a trait that kicks in later. If I had a kid, she or he would definitely be super cool and smart. That's the elevator I took with Corel and Nikki. If we're lucky, maybe they're on their way down right now. What have we ever been lucky? Oh, your girlfriend made it! Yeah. It did seem unlikely. All I know is I'm really starting to hate this elevator. You don't stand a chance! Feel my wrath! Anyone else nervous about what we're gonna find in Rell's office? I am nervous we will find nothing! Demands answer! The rest of you already know that Peter Quill was the child's father! I honestly didn't care enough to think about it! Bust it open the normal core crack box! These renegades are relentless! Sorted. Everyone okay? Anyone hurt? What? Are you gonna start being all paternal now? We're fine, Peter. We know how to fight. I know. I, I just... We'll find them. Don't worry. You said Corel's office was up top somewhere? Yeah. Just need to make our way up. Next stop, Corel's office. Come on, just admit it, Quill. You're freaking out right now. This whole deadbeat dad thing's gotta be eating at you. None of this changes who I am. I'm still cool as a cucumber. I am Groot. Groot says all the cucumbers he's ever met were terrified on the inside. <whistles> well, that don't look good. There was a struggle here. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm reacting to? I am reacting in my own way. This doesn't look good, Peter. All we know is that there was a fight. We don't know who won. Pretty sure I know. Hello? Corel? Nikki? Looks empty. Feels empty. Maybe they're hiding. Or there are always strange writings on the wall. I'm gonna try and get in her computer. See if I can wipe my criminal history. Rocket! I'm kidding. I'm gonna access her logs. You wanna know what happened here or not? Fine. The rest of us will take a look around. Maybe they left a clue or something. The scribbles are Cree. This one says, Mother knows best. Return. Hope. Promise. Nikki? Obvious signs of a struggle, Peter Quill. Yeah. This doesn't look good. Ah, <sighs> appealing. What is this? Some kind of a threat? The Cree Council demands proof of Nikki's heritage under the Cree Purity Laws. What Cree Purity Laws? Corel never told you that either? The Cree are extremely strict about their bloodlines. This does not look good. For you? No, for Nikki. What are the chances the Cree are involved in any of this? The Council of Purity isn't cryptic. When they punish someone, they make sure everyone knows it. Corel and Nikki would be hanging from a wall. Oh, wow! The Kree have comic books? I am surprised. The Kree Council is very strict on approved forms of entertainment. So this could be, like, super valuable then. How valuable are we talking? Nikki's ID. Something seems off, though. What do you mean, off? I don't know. Like it's been flagged or something. Not sure. What's the girl's date of birth on those documents? Does it match with the typical Cree gestation period? I really wouldn't know. I wonder if Nikki made this. Okay, I'm in! 
But I got bad news, lover boy. What did you find? Come here and I'll show you. So what am I looking at? Nothing. She's the captain. Captains keep logs. You keep logs? I I'm trying to tell you, they're gone. All of them. Almost like the world mind went out of its way to sever everything. Have you tried turning it off and on? What about backups? Doesn't every Nova ship have a central hub or something? A Nexus mainframe, yeah. If there's ghosts anywhere in the system, that's where. I categorically refuse. Not literal ghost, Drax. He's talking about data. Right? Yes, but we'd have to access the Nexus directly. Means going to the bridge. We're not leaving until we find out what happened. Center of operations it is. According to the ship's map, the bridge should be right through here. Peter, shouldn't we head for the bridge, try to access those logs? Yeah, yeah, I just want to be sure we didn't miss anything. Oh, crap. Uh, nuts to this. I'm out of here. Stop. Mutt's not answering. Keep trying. The rest of us can focus on figuring a way out. Really? This is the server room, right? And servers mean data? I can't just plug servers into my skull. I still need a central terminal. You said the bridge was on the other side of that corridor. So we just gotta make our way across and then up somehow. That'll do it. Well played, Peter Quill. How am I supposed to know why the pooch ain't picking up? Keep trying! Perhaps we should have interrogated the robot priest. Yeah, next time we encounter a giant, deadly robot priest, we'll tie him up first and ask questions. Do you have rope? No. Well, then your plan is untenable. Okay, 
So according to the map I saw, Nexus should be just above us. Uh, shall I throw the road at you? No! Oh, Come on! Man. To think, all of this could have been avoided had the rodent not broken the glass. You're blaming him for that? His panic scampering is what caused the final break. Hey Groot, any luck getting through to Cosmo yet? I am Groot. Nope, still nothing. Reception will probably be better once we're on the bridge. Okay, this is it, the command center. Which I guess makes that the next control terminal. Fingers crossed we find something useful. I'm thinking you should do the honors, Quill. That does not seem like you. Find something? Just some personal logs. What are we waiting for, Peter? Yeah, yeah, just psyching myself up. Have you found any useful information, Peter Quill? Uh, well, it's something. I do not understand. Why is Peter Quill not accessing the Nexus? Because he's scared of ghosts. Liar! Locked. I wonder, though. Nikki really didn't want her mom to know about this passkey she gave me. No way is some kid's card gonna bypass the Nexus. Then we're in! You're kidding! Well, yes! Guys, we're in! Go to the criminal records, Quill. They can't be that scary if they share a record. What is it with you Humies and your stupid names? You know, for a non-spacefaring species, us humans sure get around. Hey. Isn't that the guy we saw when we tried to pay our fine? Wow, super evident, Quill. And to think we could still be reading my criminal record. Get to the juicy stuff already. Gotta be something in here. Hey, isn't that... The mining ship we explored in the quarantine zone, yeah. What is the footage from? Signal's stronger. We must be close. How close? Hard to say. There's too much interference. Centurion Corral! Found something. After we left. Flark. That thing. You don't think. It is the creature that devoured our monster. <laughs> Could have been a million things. I mean, it's restricted space for a reason. <laughs> no, you're a lotus, Scott. That thing's got nothing to do with us. <sighs> that gem Corral picked up. I think it's the same one we shot in the quarantine zone. Uh, we? <laughs> you're the one who shot it. Fine, the gem I shot. The point is, is that shadow thing came out of it. We did this. The quarantine zone's a giant death trap. So we released a shadow thing. We made it out, didn't we? Your stupid girlfriend probably did too. You've been saying the whole time she's probably dead. Eh, probably alive, probably dead, whatever. Important thing is, we're all fine. Corel is tough. If anyone made it out, it's her. I know it. Read our intentions. No, you've made them pretty clear. Sometimes sacrifices much. I had to check. Crew, sweep the leg. Grand Unifier. Breaker. Right? First, let me just say it's really cool that you've heard of us, right, guys? And it's cool that you didn't try to kill us just then, especially with your two pals right there. You could have totally ripped us apart the moment you walked in, which we obviously all appreciate. 
but also, we've kind of got a few questions, like... Where are Centurion Corel and her daughter? You came here seeking truth. Rejoice. The Matriarch wishes to share it with you. Scythian warriors often ride into battle completely naked. Keep your pants on! Although, it could be used as a distraction. Yeah, no. Any other ideas? Can you froth? I can froth. Can you twitch? Yeah, I'm pretty twitchy. Alright. On my cue, you drop, froth, and twitch. While they're all distracted, we take off down one of them side halls. What about me? You, well, you know, you, uh, take one for the team. I'm not gonna- Walk with me! Come on, Quill, just grab your chest and drop. Find another plan. So, the Matriarch asked for us by name? You, specifically. Although I cannot fathom why. Peter's constantly surprising us, too. But if he's first in line for brainwashing, I gotta say- Is that what you think? That we're brainwashing? We've met your recent converts. Overly zealous doesn't even begin to describe They them. have embraced the Matriarch's promise. A life-altering experience, yes. But one that must be freely accepted. Quill, his drone. It's her ticket out of here. What? How? What are you two whispering about? Well? Actually, we were just admiring how huge this place is. It is grand, isn't it? Belief in the Matriarch restored it to what it was before the war. Just as her promise will restore everyone we lost. Mothers. Lovers. Sons. This promise will raise the dead? Of course it won't. We can't bring people back. We can't. But the Matriarch... The divine vessel? I got an idea, but I need time. Stall him! Intended to kill you. Wow. Oh, oh, okay. That. Uh, that is a cool trick. Will you explain how you did it. Sorcery. I can understand how some might see it that way, but I used science. The science of faith. Faith is not science. But faith energy is. This skiff. My inquisitors. Even Sacrosanct herself. All powered by the same miraculous energy. Energy I discovered. I'm going for the drone. Keep him talking. But now? What? What is it? It's just, um... You, uh, 
you uh, discovered stuff, and you claim to uh, control energy. Faith energy. Right. Uh, well, it's just so much, so much to take in, and we have so many questions. Like, uh, how did you discover it, and where? Tell us. Tell us everything. Right. From the beginning. Yes. Please, spare no detail. It was during the war. My people were not religious. Back then, we were scientists and miners, combing the edges of the cosmos looking for resources. Instead, we found death. Unspeakable disease. My son, my only son, gone! Just like that. And then, it called to me. A light, defying all my stubborn, rational beliefs, I ordered my people to chase it. Wait. Weren't there more of you? What? No, no, no. No, no. Nope. It seems like the kind of thing that we would be aware of. Indeed. Please, continue your... You were saying something about her? It seemed super important. The matriarch, I guess? That is not what I was talking about. Are you sure? It seemed like the matriarch was a thing at some point. She is the second divine vessel. I was talking about the first. The one who refused to reverse the death of my son! But she has come to fulfill that promise. <gasps> Wait, there were more of you. The little one is missing. Perhaps he died like your son. More of it? What? Oh, What's wrong with you? Oh, I think... I'm... Yeah, I'm, I think I'm having a heart attack. Why are we not helping him? Cease this at once. Ah. Fine. Ah. You think you're all very clever. Don't know what you're talking about. You hope to delay me because you're afraid. But there is nothing to fear. Why are you... Get back here where I can see you. Yeah, yeah. It's time to meet the nature. Rocket, tell me you have an escape plan. We're gonna summon the Milan. My new buddy will show us the way. We're being very cryptic, Rodent. Yeah, well, I get twitchy when I'm surrounded by giant murder bots. They just want us to meet their new mommy. Speaking of which. Who else thinks Will's ex-girlfriend traded in her cop badge for cult robes? Come on! What? I'm just saying what we're all thinking. The Guardians of the Galaxy. Thank you, Grand Unifier. Guardians, you may approach. Peter Quill, order your offspring to come down from there this instant. Maybe I'm out of line, but aren't you a little young for a dress that short? Aren't you a little old to write your name on your clothes? Uh. Took you long enough. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Yeah, well, you know, chatty grandpa gets. Hey, we're gonna get you out of here. Just follow my lead. But this is where we're supposed to be. We're gonna save everybody. I'm gonna save them, I promised. Come on, snap out of it, kid. You're just saying what he wants you to say. I am, but I'm more than just me. What do you mean? Where's your mom? Mom is here. She's right here, inside me. Oh, thanks for clearing that up. The light... joined us. I thought she was gone. But I can bring her back. They're all waiting... for us to bring them back. All we need... is faith. The Grand Unifier... helped me understand. This is one big con. Trust me, I know a thing or two about- Why can't you just believe in me? Why won't you just listen? Nobody ever listens. Until I show them. You can save her. I promise. Get back! Your scaly mitts won't touch one hair on his head! I said get back! Mom! What... what's going on? How... how is this possible? You saved me! That's how! I knew you would never leave me! I... I didn't, I mean... Look at you! Look at you, all grown up! And into the great leader I knew you would become! <laughs> Peter, I am so proud of you. Your father would be so proud. I... I, I don't understand, I... I saw you die. Am I... Did I go back? You are here. That's all that matters. We have all the time in the world now. You and me. And your friends, too. My friends? Sure. The house is plenty big enough. And I want to meet this amazing team of yours and hear all about your incredible adventures. <laughs> <laughs> that is... You don't know how bad I've wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever break us apart. I promise, Peter. I promise. Let go of me. Stop. Stop hugging I me. I can't believe... Peter. <laughs> I don't understand.
Finally! I need your help. Mom will be home for lunch soon and I want everything to be perfect. Perfect? For her birthday. That's today! Did you forget again? Dad? Uh, honestly, kinda. Are you kidding? Dad! You promised you'd help me surprise Mom for her birthday! I, I did? Yes! You said you'd help fix the hollow projector, and the cake still needs candles, and I can't find the present we got her. Right. Oh, wow. This looks amazing. Did you make it? Oh, no. I ordered it from the bakery planet. There's a bake? No! I baked it! Okay, that just... Hmm. Uh, Nick? Is it supposed to be fuzzy? Uh, obviously not. It's not focused right or something. Can you refocus it? Wow. It turned out so good. I was sure I messed part of it up. Wait, did you make this? Yeah. It's hollow, and the star system around it, and I think... I got all the moons. It's beautiful. Just need mom's present now. I think it's somewhere in my room. Happy birthday, love, Nikki and Peter. Why don't I remember this? Did you find it? Yeah! Okay, put it with the others. Great! A gift. Put it on the table. One birthday present. What did you get her? We got it. On Nowhere. Remember that artist alley we went to and the painting she really liked? Of Krilar? Oh, right. Yeah. Anything else? I don't think so. How does it look? Amazing. Your mom's gonna love it. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay, I, uh... Nikki, why is the door locked? It's me. I'll make sure everything's perfect. You get the door. Surprise! Peter? What are you two? No! <clears throat> Don't believe it, Peter. This isn't real. She's being tricked. She never should have been here. What she saw. I don't know how, but the three of us are connected now. That thing, that thing has her, but she can still be saved. She has to accept my death. She must. Show her how to let me go. Free my daughter. Save her. Out of here! Go! By rejecting the promise, you are proving yourselves unworthy. And you must be destroyed! No. Ah, this is wrong! What did you do to us? Mark and mind games? I'm gonna feel you later! Focus on Raker! Wrap him up! Help, Drax! You're fine! Careful! Pretty sure this guy's gonna explode when he comes! Oh, I am 
Pride no, to destroy! I am not that Again? Forget the preacher for now. The choir's pissed! Hold fast! Down here, how do we get out? Raker's drone gave me a peek at the ship's layout. I'll get us to the comm center, where we can call the Milano to come bail us out of this scuttle flock. Okay, but do you see a way up? I see a way up. How thoughtful. Or, uh, wait! We need an exit! There ain't one! Then make one! Drax, hit this part of the wall as hard as you can. Why? Because we're about to die! Right. Mm. I know that sweet smell anyway. Come on! We can escape through that drain! Are you nuts? That's highly toxic warp drive coolant. We can't just jump in there. We need to keep moving. Maybe I wasn't clear. That's a pool of instant death. Whoa. What the? Drax! Drax, man, uh, everything okay? Yes. Okay, so maybe it ain't warp drive coolant. <laughs> That's tingly. Well, we need to talk about your kid trying to kill us. Raker did something to her. This is his... Do you hate me reaching the old mining sector? No. The Grand Unifier sent Lictor drones into the lower halls. The heretics would have been disintegrated. Scott Halls? Yeah, maybe. But if we are lost, at least they can't find us? We're screwed. We're lost and we're screwed. I just need to get my bearings. I ain't never been on a ship this way. Trust your instincts, little one. Uh, little one? Eh, guess it's better than abomination. <laughs> you are a silly little thing. Still fuming. The Grand Unicorn hitting us with a cheap shot and then running away. I don't know how he zapped us. 
something about them. Scott, what are they doing? Blocking our way forward. So many doors. You do know the way out, right? I do now. There's Gubbins. You named it Gubbins? Yup. Watch this. He's gonna take us to the comm center. There. That's our exit. Okay. We got this. Hey, look! No time to stand around fighting these goons. The faster we get out, the faster we save Nikki. Now what? Up there! That cat walks our way out. If we can get across that gap... Flark, we got a bigger problem. Drone's back. Quill, find us a way up to that catwalk before we're extra crispy. Drax, push that across the gap. Yes. No, 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 no! Wrong way, Drax! What the scut, man? Drax! What? Bad-headed badoon? That was our... Doesn't matter. We got an exit. Let's go! Well, that thing really wants a piece of you. Too bad, they're my pieces. We should keep moving. <sighs> this doesn't look good, Peter. Whoa. Is this some kind of torture chamber? They look peaceful. Death can be very peaceful. It's like they're getting their lives sucked out. Or their faith. It's like they ain't worth nothing. I've had enough of this nightmare. Tell me we're close to your comm center. Govan sent us this He way. sent us to a dead end. It wasn't a dead end for him. Actually. <gasps> Let's just hope Drax's shortcut leads us in the same direction. Yes, a shortcut. Gonna put a bullet in one of these blockers for every people battery yeah. in this place. Rocket, do your magic. Yeah, yeah, just let me do it. That must be the comm relay. Our ticket off this heap. So, uh, how long is this gonna take? I'm gonna need your help. Sure. All right, just stand right here. Okay. 
perfect. <sighs> Why are we pretending we did not witness what we witnessed in the ceremonial chamber? Because the promise is an insidious lie. How can you be certain? Because I wanted to believe it, but I knew when I woke up it... <sighs> we'll all be gone. What did you see? I... am Groot. I saw my mom. Life. There was something else there, too. A shadow. Yeah, exactly. Whatever it is, it's using the girl. Probably fed her alive her own. About Corral. I know, she's... The market Scott! Dog. What? That was completely intentional. The Milano's on her way. Alright, let's split, before the Faith Brigade realizes what we did. Where's the Milano supposed to dock? <laughs> it's cute they use the word dock. She doesn't have hangar clearance, so we're gonna have to get creative. Okay, just... don't go overboard. That's exactly what we're gonna do? I found a rendezvous spot near the hull. Wait, what? Relax! I know where we're going. There's a workbench we can use. Do it fast if you're gonna. That drone's still hunting us. This looks like something Rocket would like. Ugh. We need to get through here, but the stupid base tech door ain't powered. So how do we charge it? Gotta find something compatible with that power port. Got a lazy death bot here. His battery might still have some juice. Worth a try. Okay. You just keep on sleeping, buddy. I'm just gonna... Whoa! Whoa! <sighs> Will this work? One way to find out. Hook it up. Looks like it worked. Somebody want to fetch the destroyer? Drax, you coming, man? Hey, Drax. What's wrong? It has occurred to me that this may be nothing more than a lingering dream. It's not, I promise. But we need to go. Very well. That is kind of scary. I've never heard any ship make that noise. Not even Jatari. Is that... singing? More like distant chanting. Whatever it is, that's a lot of people. We have to go this way. Our luck's gotta change. I mean, once you shoot your own mom in the face, things have to go up from there, right? <laughs> Peter, you know none of that was real. Whatever that is, it's really close. This is Flark. There must be millions of them. At least. I am Groot. Yeah, and how are we supposed to help? We need to worry about getting our own tails off this death trap. We survive. And we make sure Cosmo knows everything about this nightmare. He'll know what to do. 
Our church comes for us! Flark! Think we can hijack that skiff? Probably. It'll be an ugly hack. Safety's off, people! I'm surprised your gun even has a safety! Hope the rest of you are as ready for this as I am! Just try not to be so dumb! We can agree this is probably the church's capital ship, right? Sure looks like it. And we know they have the rock and all the ships docked there. Okay, let's see what we can do with this scut. Come on. Come on. You sure you can- Whoa! If just one small faith battery can power one of their robots, imagine the power they harness here. And they're conquering planets now. Even this is small scale. Did you hear that? Hear what? There was- No! We're okay. They're just bouncing off the shield. Up the scut! Shields down! Blast them! Keep your heads down! I got this! They're trying to distract us so more can come! It's gonna cost them! Come get some of Rocket's Gospel! Is there a manuscript?
This blows. We should have just stuck to what we're good at. And what's that? Con jobs, smuggling, and heists. If the church keeps growing, we would have run into them eventually. There's no end to them! Rocky, can you outrun them? How? We've got the same skip! Crap, the shields blow! They're gonna keep them off of us! Take them down fast! We need to get off this thing! I would if these Sparknards would quit fighting back! We're hit! How bad is it? Bad! I've gotta put her down! Ah! What is all this? Fuel depot for the skiffs, looks like! are different here. We're getting close to the edge of the ship and our way out of here. You can detect that? Hello, whiskers.
attack! Finally! Let me out! Stop them short, all you! Light them up! You're struggling, Dave! Let's see that sword! It'll be a slice! Is dead. There he is! I'm going after Raker! Don't follow! What? Uh, Gamora! Trust me, Peter! Uh-oh. We got another scut ton of goons coming our way! around here somewhere we got a problem uh no no problem how about a bridge group i'm group yeah what happens if gamora don't catch up once they realize we're on the milano they'll throw everything they got at us i will not leave hovat behind again flark how's that thing still dogging us run go any tick now. Should? Yeah, well, it's the best they can do. And our window to meter is getting smaller. You know they're gonna open fire as soon as they detect her. Yep, I've got her running silent. But who knows what kind of sensor the breaker has on this thing. Sit up, ah! Jax! Ah! 
Brace yourself!
must go back. Are you crazy? I like killing sprees as much as the next guy, but we barely got out of there alive. What about Gamora? She, she made a choice. So you're just gonna abandon her? And Nikki? What if it was Groot? You gonna leave him behind too? I am Groot. Don't talk like that. That's not what this is about. Isn't it though? We're supposed to be a team. Teams don't leave people behind. Tell that to the giant Kratakan army of robots and brainwashed believers we barely got away from! Gamora! Is that...? Yes. How'd you get back? It doesn't matter. I failed. Raker lives. For now. We have to go back. We can't leave Nikki there. What he'll turn her into. Blah, blah, Flark and blah. So you got stepdaddy issues and had a horrible childhood. Ooh, Rocket! What? It's true. Guess what? You ain't the only one here who had it bad. It don't mean we're angling to commit suicide because some pseudo priest nutjob is doing surprise nutjob stuff. If we go back there, we're dead. D E D, dead. I would rather die with honor than without. Crawled up her butt and died. I am good. So, get the Flark out of Dodge? Not yet. We should try to get a hold of Cosmo instead. I am good. Great plan, only he ain't answering the passport. Okay, but what choice do we have? We don't have comms. Well, actually, we uh, might have comms. It turns out they weren't as Flarked as I originally thought. Really? Groot should be able to race. Okay. Sounds like Murder Mom's feeling more stabby than usual. You all right there, Drax? I am pondering that question. And that makes total sense. After what happened with Nikki and that twisted promise, Having to watch the people we love die all over again? My family did not simply die. They were murdered. By Thanos. I think I'm... I do not wish to discuss it. Shoo, shoo. Move over. What are you looking at? Oh no. You ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship? <laughs> shoo! Flark off! Wow. That panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't! Anything yet? Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Piotr Quill. Cosmo's bow has been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet, this problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? I am Groot. Are we under attack? So these are the cowards who defile Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flark are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. 
Therefore, Abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. <laughs> A Lethal Legion? Uh, more like Loser Legion. <laughs> He's surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you are as imbecilic as they are. You will not elude me. That I can assure you. I just need a few minutes. Stall him, Quill. Why? Where are you going? Ravagers myself. We are far superior to you and your Ravagers, Terran scum. The Lethal Legion is composed of the best warriors the universe has ever seen. And me. Hey, look. I get it. You're the best of the best. You're the captain of a super elite team. I'm the captain of a... elite team. Some of us are super elite. You are nothing like me. I am Glabry of the Kree Empire. My birthright alone supersedes any sense of worth you foolishly believe you possess. Spoken like a true Kree. <laughs> More like an arrogant a-hole. Enough! I will not be disrespected. You will be eliminated. Give it your best shot, Helmet Head. The Milano's gonna blow you out of the sky. Your ship doesn't have that kind of firepower. Scan again. Possible. Just a little something we picked up in the uh, quarantine zone. Looks like you underestimated us.
of the Mirage. They will not survive it. Lady Skullshoot us the worst block in timing! Is she here? Nah! <laughs> He's really pissing me off! Starting to feel like we pissed off the whole galaxy. A good chunk of them anyway. That did some real damage. Keep hitting his exhaust ports. Your strategy will work. Thanks. You just confirmed that it will. Yeah. I am Clary, warrior of... Skull scut. I doubt we've seen the last of her. We won't worry about Lady Hellbender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it! Yep. Old girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. Ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. I need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flark and deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. <sighs> Welcome to Novacor headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. How may we assist you? We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flark and world mind doesn't already know? Connecting to banking services. I can't believe that worked. Guardians of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mind, long time no see. It's me, Peter Quill, Star Lord. And uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No, no, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. Cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass delusion known as the Promise is sweeping, sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than three, three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda, Andromeda galaxy, galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They. Actually, the world mind has collected consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. Look. We just escaped the church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Are you still alive? Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Novacore helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. The point is, we've lived things, experienced things. 
We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We have overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Xandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Ain't you seen what your planet looks like? Xandarian culture is a lost cause! But you're Nova Corps' leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads. We do, we do not, not have a duty to protect this galaxy. galaxy. We, we merely police it to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only ourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. We have officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting for their sake? The risk is too great. It would be a pointless sacrifice. For unknown reasons, the Church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We cannot adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is logical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it, it cannot can be countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. Don't you control the Nova Force? The magical energy that powers Nova Core? It... It's is not magical. But yes. Then how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The, the living, living computers of Xandar are, are the Nova Force. Force. It exists because we exist, and we exist, therefore it does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Breaker with other people's faith. Maybe the way you do it can tell you how the Church does. Perhaps. You, you have given us new data to consider. Guardians of the Galaxy, we will. Later. Right now we need to focus on our departure. You're still leaving? We did not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? I am Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are, we are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. <sighs> All right, let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Oh, what? Whole universe is about to end, and you spend our cash on a Nova Corps fine. Look, dude, the church is about to come for all of us. Once that disabler goes off, we'll be sitting ducks. All right, at least we got that sorted. Let's get out of here. Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off.
accepting the promise. We gotta jump, Quill. I know. Those promises becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! What did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The Loser Legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. Hi, Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Guys. And how are we going to do that? We're dead in the flock and water. And if they find us, we're screwed. Freely accepted. Oh, yeah. And without an engine, we're screwed Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys. Enough. Just stop already. I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. No, I don't care! Just fix it! Scoff? And what are we supposed to do? I don't know, okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. I need some rest. Screw Nova Core. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Look, it's our great leader. If you're about to throw another tantrum, do it quietly this time. I see you have... Uh, yeah. Uh. Really? How did you... Come on, girl. Shoot, shoot. <laughs> oh, screw it. <sighs> and the bed smells great. Raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah, he was fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? Uh, it's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh... <clears throat> Root wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Well, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship! So you flew us all the way here? Yep. Without asking? 
Hey, I asked. You said, and I quote, I'll take you to the stars. I'll show you who we are. We're space riders with no name. Hey. And then you went back to sleep. And you thought that meant yes. Good enough for me. There, let's go. Look who stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... <sighs> Nikki! Tell me twice! Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother. The Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I... I Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh, not exactly, but, but but not because I don't want to. It's just, I have questions. I understand. The Matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming is a word for it. It also took me time to see the miracle of her promise. Yes, yes, uh, time. I just need... Time. I will give you time, Peter Quill. However, I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because that's murder, man! If you kill them, then they can't accept the promise. The Matriarch will bring them back, along with everyone else. That is her promise. Right, right. She'll, she'll bring them back. I just thought you were trying to turn a new leaf. I do not have foliage. I'm just saying, think of the example you're setting for Chimeria. The Matriarch's promise requires uncompromising faith, something you will understand when you finally accept it. Choose well, Peter Quill. We've landed on the Matriarch's planet. When I return, she will demand your answer. Hey! Drax! We can talk about this! Crap, 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 crap. Please let there be calms, please let there be calms. Also, please be okay.
Hello? Anyone? Peter? Is there a reason why muscles lock me in my room? Yeah. Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I know, it's, it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosanct to find the Matriarch. But don't worry. Don't worry? D yeah, d you know. Be happy. I might be able to activate the Milano self-destruct sequence. That's your plan? Ooh, 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 what, you got a better one? A little hard to concentrate with Peter singing. I'm thinking. Ah, uh, think somewhere else. Stop singing. For your information, the Lama thing finds my voice delightful. Her name's Cammy. That's it. We're locked in, but she's not. So, she's an idiot. Doesn't mean she can't help us. Can you transfer ship schematics to my tablet? Maybe get me a camera feed. Yeah, okay. Why? I want to check where Cammy is. Done. Go ahead and grab it. Okay, I see her. Gamora, sing something, anything. Why? Just do it! <sighs> <laughs> I can't believe it worked. We're not on the Sacrosanct. We're on a planet. Well, that's a flark in relief. Let's get the Scud out of here before Drax comes back with his new best friend, the Kratakan Matriarch. Rocket, stop! We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no, not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well, Flark, Quill. It's about Kratakin time you showed some Nords. Fine. I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Then let's go find our friend. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. Doing, doing, done. Small marvel crafted. I've made it foolproof, just for you. <laughs> oh, why? Gamora. Oh, and how do you suppose we convince Drax to come back? Not sure we can get anything through that thick skull of his. Drax consistently believes and trusts everything he hears. Seriously? <laughs> this family one day too.
According to this, the... Oh! Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a block in Lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah, this stuff is gross. Ah, uh, are you kidding me? Ah, wet fur is the worst. Ah, ah! Ah! It. You all right? That's it. I hate water. I hate being wet, and I hate not getting paid. We're not here to get paid. We're here to save Drax. Guys. Lamentus, home of the priests of Panda. Or religious nutjobs. Great! They aren't nuts. They're pacifist exiles. Pacifists. That's even worse. You saw them on nowhere? So how do you know this place? Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh... Don't fall and you won't get wet. Yeah? Well, how do you know Drax didn't fall? Quit worrying, Rocket. Anything happens, Gamora will jump in after you. I will? She will? Yes, because we're a team. And Gamora's the most sprightly. Ugh, I think I'd rather drown. We should sink on our plan. <laughs> Found Drax. Where is she? Where is the Matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax! Buddy, just calm down! No! She called me here! Men lost! Rocket, a little help here! Uh. <laughs> Hi, guys! How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysa once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. Or is it Omphad who teaches me later? Don't worry, Green Mimi's fine. <clears throat> oh, fine what are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. <laughs> Not in this time. Come on! The creepy cave's this way! The what now? The creepy cave! Where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark isn't unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad. Very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am good. The point is... Or was... Or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him. Here! And here we are, where the Kotati take root. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Katati? I am... <clears throat> uh, plant people, like Groot, but, uh, lame. 
The Kochati are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <laughs> What are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of the space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky is right. Uh, more like deadly. We sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine-ish. My telepathic control won't last, little fuzzy. Only green means. Watch out! Double floor! Phew! Hollis didn't sense that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for tracks. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Oh, for sure. Whoa! This place is really unstable. Fuzzy cave's gonna kill us all. Oh, no, not all of us. Not this time. More water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Come on, Rocket. Blue water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning's actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy's alternate future. Ha! <laughs> nice! Whatever you found in there, Quill, pretty sure it ain't worth getting drenched for. I'm sure it'll get drier from here on out. Oh, you are so wrong, Stir Fry. hi -ya! Giddy up! Crap! Was kind of close. That one sometimes gets the mora. You're sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. Okay, well, it's too wide to jump here. We'll need to look around, find another way. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! no. I don't trust him not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. Rocket, you feeling lucky? Yo, geniuses! This thing about me don't want to Knock it loose and we Problem solved. Still ignoring the bigger problem, not knowing what we're looking for. Don't focus on what. Focus on how much he means to you. Uh all the times Drax has done something for us. Name one time. Remember when he saved our butts in that mining ship? Scoff, he saved your butt. He dragged a lot of heavy things uh, This is a lot of trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf. First time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face. Who? Oh, Stumpy? And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis? Should we be worried about this fog? of those things living on this planet. Maybe they weren't native to Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here. 
tracking us across the ends of the galaxy because she wants us dead. Lady H wants us dead. You realize what that means? We're all gonna die? I think I see what he's doing. It means we're a team. When we piss someone off, we piss them off together. I'm gonna assume that sounded better in your head. Water, fog, and monsters. What's the fucking deal with this place? There has always been a great power here. The priests tell tales of those who were here before them, and what wonderful things they could do. I don't remember hearing anything about that. You weren't ready to listen last time you were here. I am Groot. Oh, no, Sir Groot. There's no such thing as the Kotati Root. Its power is just a... What kind of stories do the priests tell? Legends of lingering souls trapped in stone. Can't you feel their residual hum? I feel like we're being watched. Are you sure that's the right way, Peter? I'm sure that it's not. But let's not tell Star Guy. He needs to learn for himself. I can hear you! Even better! What the flark are we supposed to find down here again? Fear faced fully from far within. There's something like that. It's the something I'm worried about. Ooh, spooky. We ain't being what? No one in the right. What the floor? There's two of them. Two of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive. Oh, but I'm thinking no. What do you think, Quill? You best friends? Yeah, uh, maybe not. Smoke them, Rocket! Mint them! I'll enjoy this! the next guy, but I am officially sick of this stupid cave! Who? Oh, bug lady? She couldn't guide her way out of a bathroom! Rocket, think you can crawl in there? For what? So I can get eaten by whatever lives inside? The stone faces. Whatever we're looking for is beyond or beneath or behind one of the faces. What do you say, Rocket? I bet you can find us a way back there. Fine. Whatever. Looks like there's something on the other side. <coughs> uh, smells like rotten spike eggs in here. Okay, set in the charge. Stand back! I don't think this is the one where you can kill that. There's that B 
feeling again. The fur on the back of my neck is sticking up. I feel it too. Like a... See that, Green Mini? That's where we need to be. Positive. I see something, but it's foggy. Hey, group, buddy. Think you could lift this? No, there ain't nothing he needs to know about me. Keep your bar full shot. I spy with my little eye. At least the crystals are kind of pretty. Eh, I've seen better formations. These look like regular silicates. Oh, there's nothing regular about the way they resonate, little fuzzy. Then they might actually be worth a few units. See that, Green Meanie? That's where we need to be. What else did the Katati tell you about this place, man? You find anything, Peter? Nothing in there that could save Drax. Is there another face somewhere, Mantis? Mantis? Huh? Oh, yeah. This cave is multifaceted. Get it? Your bark's crawling. I'd almost jump into the water if it made the creepy crawly feeling go away. Something, but it's foggy. We'll each need to face our fears. Some here, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good too. For you, yes, Star Guy. But only until it isn't. You'll see that soon enough. Found another way. Just me, or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry, your fuzzy little head. You only die from a great fall in two timelines, which probably isn't one of them. We need to get on those crystals, Groot. I'm good. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Ooh, definitely remembering something now. I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, <laughs> little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Mantis, back in nowhere, did you know what the church was going to do? I don't know. I see so many different things at the same time, it's sometimes hard to know where I am. Do they try to take over the galaxy in all realities? Finally, the face of a thousand lies. I think. It's gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face, beyond the line. Scott! Watch out, everybody! Planning, uh, thanks. You don't usually make it. The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. Bug Lady is absolutely bonkers. Of course I'm angry. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Clark, I'm going in. No, you mustn't. You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you. Something bad is about to happen. <laughs> oh, that's it. I'm going in. Clark, get it. Blow up this statue, save Drax, and get out of here. Yes, but... Time to start trusting our instincts, Quill. Bug Lady said the face is keeping us from helping Drax, so we gotta destroy it! Little Fuzzy, don't do whatever it is you're about to do! No, no, don't no, I'm do done with all the riddles! Don't mm -hmm. not, not do whatever you want to do! Let's just hear Mantis out on this, okay? Give me a tick to think, okay? What if the whole place collapses? Then at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore! Not helping! Groot, can you tell him to stop? Little Fuzzy's in a mood. We're probably gonna die. 
One. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where is the matriarch? This is the one where I fail. More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, towery, Wait, water. hang on. Did you say Shatari? Oh, I did, didn't I? Such a funny sounding word. This is impossible! I thought I'd never see these markers again! I hoped I never would! Go 
would not hate us! I say let him! This won't hurt! Much! If anything else comes out of this fog, I quit! You can't quit! It's in your contract! Man, I totally laid out that psycho soldier! Push the can! What else can this place possibly throw at us? I would rather not find out. For once, I agree with Rocket! It's a breathing room, group! Fully forthright. You okay, Mantis? Oh, hey, Gamora, you look less depressed. Wait, we went over that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours is still bothering you, though, right? What thing? I'm fine. Let's just focus on helping Drax. <laughs> just how far down does this cave go? Legends say the entire planet is hollow. Heads up. I don't think they're looking to make amends, Quill. As well as expected. I was sure. Oh, maybe I just haven't learned it yet. I think I picked up the word for kill. The fog doesn't seem to bother whatever these giant things are. Maybe they're just smart enough to not wander around in it. Unlike some people. I know why we're doing it, and don't think Drax won't hear all about it either. Oh, is this the one where Little Fuzzy does something heroic? Hard to say. I think it's pretty easy to say he won't. You, most of all, should be willing to give someone another chance, Gamora. If there's sunlight, does that mean there are holes on the surface that lead all the way down here? Maybe that's it. All these jerks who keep attacking us fell in and got stuck. This looks like something Gamora could use. Everything here is strange. Strange plants, strange fog, strange company. Um, guys. I know, little fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead. And I see what lies behind. 
Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. Doesn't seem that wet. Like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants to divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving Drax? Sure! You save him while I drown! How does it even grow down here? I don't know. Those big leaves could be useful, like a dam. Mora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. Yes! Just a plant plant, not a you. We ain't got much choice. What would you guys do without me? Yeah, where, oh where, will we get another gun? <laughs> This doesn't seem absurd to you. He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? Here's the almighty Star-Lord. You say something? Uh, nope. Sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up and I'll swipe him in your sleep. Huh? What's your hurry? What? I told you to go before we left the ship. Yes! Can't believe that works. That works. Come on, it's like 50% less wet. I'm 0% interested. All right, I'm on it. It ain't none of their business. I am Groot. What's to understand? I ain't a fan of drowning. Hey Groot, can you get me up there? I am Groot. He's on his way. Just tell him how high. I could try blowing it up, I guess. No! Remember last time you blew something up? Okay, fine. Maybe there's something else. Hey, if I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. Just don't screw up the jump. <laughs> Leave him behind. Focus on saving Drax. He'll still be here on the way back, and if he isn't. <laughs> nice shot, Peter. Oh, God. Thanks. That's why they call me Star Lord. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. This crab corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. Oh, what now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, it gets worse. <laughs> Everyone okay? I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So... About all them futures where we die. I am Groot. Has he always been able to do that? I am Groot. He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. I am Groot. No, I don't gotta tell him. Ooh, right. The thing. That you tell us in the dark. 
It's really important. No, it ain't. Shut up. Bottling up feelings is a time-honored tradition. If Rocket doesn't want to share... Boo! Don't be a Gamora. What's that supposed to mean? You know, someone who suppresses all their trauma. Trauma? Really? With water? Forget it, okay? Just forget it. So how long do we gotta wander around smashing our shins on rocks? Imagine it's a metaphor. You're in the physical darkness, and that reflects Green Meanie's mind. We can double back along Groot's path, and then try to find the exit. Groot says stay close to him. At least you'll be able to... Find anything shiny, we split it. Ooh, this part. Mm. Okay, anyone else getting really fed up with little Miss Cryptic? <laughs> Pretty? <laughs> Give me a break. At least it seems less dark through here and less wet. Works for me. Mantis. Anything in particular we should be looking out for? Uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it isn't. What's that supposed to- Shh. I don't- More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flarknards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QZ. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. Shh. What do you mean, shh? Stargirl's right. Shh. Right about what? Shh. So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. Yeah, like that was ever gonna happen. I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things, but the source? It's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The fog entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, bug lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes! Sort of. Obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense. And if this fog monster can make bad things appear, maybe the opposite is true. Like, if we all say cure Drax, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish that was, but no. The one time she gives a definite answer. Let me guess. Further down? Only if you want to save Drax and the whole galaxy. Let me get back to you. Okay. One last time! <laughs> it's fun! Remember this part. Okay, okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water. <laughs> no, no, Quill. She doesn't know where we are, she doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for! Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, <gasps> okay! This is crazy. He is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um... Well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly! And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I! But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here, kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! Friend. And Gamora. 
You've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people, to get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. Or if you do, I don't catch it, but I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help! We're a family! We're the fucking Guardians of the Galaxy! Yay! Really great speech, Quill. Why didn't anyone stop me? Needed help. Bunch of them. Rocket, man. Yeah, yeah. Can we please just save Drax already? Warm. Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. 
I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing. Something sad and sulking, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. We're totally gonna feed up something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect a fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. Mantis has been right so far. About what? Finding swamp water in the stinking cave of doom? We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's... Oh, gross! Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. Not the gravity of your treacherous trespass. You cannot quell a god. Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. <sighs> Found you. What wayward wickedness is this? Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. Okay, guys, it's him! Aaron Witchcraft! No, wait, Aiden Warsock! Ashley Warsock? Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. In we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Oh. <sighs> Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas. Her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So... Can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... What the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plane, Snorlord. You teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your mind. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this, and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, god guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. 
Uh, guys? Is that Drax? <laughs> so we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him and convince him to come back to reality. Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less... downery. This is just the doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here, reliving the loss of his family. There's the big galoot. That was easy. This is just an echo, little fuzzy. Part of poor Greeny... Uh, I'm not the only one that hears that, right? Please be something soft! Drax? Not Drax. Thanos. Bet you weren't expecting a family reunion, eh, hey, Gamora? I'm enjoy this. Hope the rest of you are as ready for this as I am! Wait, you're up! Still considered therapy. <laughs> not so tough after all. Something's not right. You fail to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> what the? Okay, that's new. That's new, right? I think I remember there being two. Twice the ugly, twice the target wreck. Hey, Goldie, don't suppose you want to lend a hand. You fight a phantom. Fear given form. It is a futile foray. He said no. I can't. Peter? Whoa. Hey, what's happening? That's it. That's why I couldn't see. Oh. <sighs> hey, we ain't dead. Mantis, I think we did... Something, but I don't see Drax. Oh, good. Not creepy at all. Hold up. Not so fast, little one. Drax, wait up! Hey, that's cheating! I get the impression something doesn't want us to reach Drax. <laughs> Maybe Drax doesn't want us to reach Drax. Chance to have his family back. No wonder Drax couldn't reject the promise. Drax! Now the... It doesn't matter. Get him! There he is again! Drax, buddy! Wait up! Forced to follow fools. Damn it! I can hear you. You can lay palms on a board built by your opponent. You got a better idea? I'm all ears. Oh, assuming we ever catch him, what then? I'm working on that. Left foot. Huh? You can see me. Your friend me? is too far fallen to be willed back by words. For someone who's been no. There. Look. Hey, how did you beat me? <laughs> because I am your father. You've been playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No, I chased it, but it was too quick. Only fools rush forward. A hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <sighs> Papa? Are you alright? Drax, come here! It is time to come home! 
What the flark is that? Yes, little one. The mother waits. Insidious succubus! Release your thrall! It's not in Kansas anymore. What flark are those? Spawn of shadow! Snuff their source while I widen our They're way! They're coming from those nests! Us from Drax. You saw simply its spawn. That black stuff. Is that Drax's wife? I think so. Hovat. Then this must be Drax's home. <laughs> you two certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. Drax, buddy. Your words are wasted, man. Easy, all right. I got this. Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? We're gonna lose him again. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're stronger than this, Drax. Come on, you big lug. Don't leave me alone with Quill. Drax, dinner is ready. That's not Hovat. You gotta let her go. You do not know what you ask. Charade. Clark in nowhere is where we are. Maybe it's not all bad. I don't see any new promise, at least. We are an empty eternal echo. Naked nothingness. Not helping. Hobo wizard. All right, everyone just split up and look for a way out. Or forward, or whatever. I lose a bet if I die in a dark pit. It was alone in a dark pit. Mantis! 
A little help here! Ow! Rocket! I tried pinching myself. You and your Flark and Earth superstitions. I try anything at this point. Wake up! There! Look! I can't believe that worked. Let's go. Part of him is still with us. I'm sure of it. I hope you've got one hell of a speech plan, Peter. That makes two of us. Why are you doing this? Do not leave me be. You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. By destroying my home. Your blissful ignorance is in ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. We got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drax, love. It is time to eat. I get it, man. They seem really special. They are the only thing that matters. My Hovat. Was the most fearless mate I have ever known. She brought me peace even during times of war. My Camaria. My innocent little Camaria. She was the best of us both. Despite her meager stature, they both were. were. My family is gone. What sits before me? I don't know. But it's not real. It ain't good. It is a perversion. Fed by desperation. Without it... I will have nothing. I cannot be alone again. You're not alone, man. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier if you surround yourself with the right people. I am Groot. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. We're a team. Papa? Are you okay? Join us, Drax. It's not her. Are you hurt, Papa? Talk to us, love. I will cherish the time that we had. And not resent the time that we lost.
How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. I owe amends for my lapse in judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. Peter Quill, your child is in danger. If her pain is half my own, the darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black blorf, too. And anyone want to tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? More than why that thing looked like him. Because it is me. Bombshell? Time is tight and your understanding unimportant. Can I shoot him? Come on, let me shoot him. Hey. Imagine ambivalent omnipotence drifting in darkness. Uh, speaking of dark. Such was my celestial solitude. Power without purpose until uncovered by Raker. His crew were convalescent. Plagued by a pox, I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happens upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed. Symptom and solace. They worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, a dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps, pernicious priesting, feeble fools fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. What did it want? Complete devotion. I too heard this voice, and could hear nothing else. Adulation. Flagellation, gorged with grief and consternation. I told you this was the scary part. It was pure putrefaction, sown from the seed of my strength. My soul stone gone sour. I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Reiko would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. Translation, you let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? I'm with Rocket. Raker knew exactly what he was doing. That man's a master manipulator. Damn it! Got me doing it. I bear no blame for my fallen friend. Our errant experiment all but broke us both. Then how do you explain how your best bud got his hands on the stone and has now taken over the galaxy? I cannot. I think I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Corral was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different, and it felt different. She took me back to the QZ and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivably. Her soul may be snared by the stone, chained to the child. That's what Corel said. The three of them are somehow connected. She said Nikki needs to accept her death. 
Magus preys upon her pain, manipulates her mind while feeding on her flock of followers. And I'm guessing it never gets full. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, because I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So... Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. Why didn't you just say that? So step one, find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive the severing. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find the kid? What are you... What's going... Oh, Flark. Oh, Flark. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. You need to go now. Does that sound like you're not coming with us? These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Just trust me. Don't go dying on me. I'm starting to actually get you. Papa Squat Golden Boy, you're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? It is assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on. You don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. Good enough for me. All right. Oh, Gamora! No, I did. Yeah, maybe. Hey, Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Huh. Do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Do you have a minute to fix my stuff, too? Sure. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. All right, 
It's all yours. And voila! So, about my raise? All set. Tell me if you need anything else fixed up. I'm all good for now. I'll let you craft that new blaster. It's gonna be s Would a wanton hand supply sustenance to this chamber? He's asking for room service now? Come get your own. We've got a full fridge. Well, not exactly full. That explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Hey, old traveler. Have you accepted the truth of the divine promise? We have. My deceased wife and daughter are with me. Thank the matriarch for her gift. May the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land on the spaceport. Them bars and betting parlors and noodle joints. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. I assume it will be worse. Raker rallies regiments while we wait, whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, go. What the flark? Great cocoon boy thinks he's a butterfly now. He is a man of action. Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. Let's do this! Time to save Nikki! Peter? Okay... Just be cool. Let me handle these guys. Welcome, travelers. Have you come to witness the fulfillment? What now? The realization of the Matriarch's promise. The beginning of a new world. One without death, or pain, or fear. You should know this. Weren't you vetted and cleared to land here? What? Of course we were. How are you not aware of the fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped! Attack! Bad killing these dopes? Cause I don't! Another one? Go Rocket! Bring them up, crew! Slash of the Mora! What the? Coach is choosing his team members! Let Summer is tied that line! Oh, no, when to quit! Let go of that 
tracks! Cut to pieces! Rip them off, tracks! Or in this car! What's next, Peter? Blitz of rocket! He's boosting his spawn! Better pray their new world comes without death or pain or fear. Cause I'm gonna kill them for parking up this spaceport. They have been very busy redecorating it. All the more reason for us to get to the Cortex and find Nikki. We're wasting time, Peter. I don't like the sound of that fulfillment thing. dark before. You do realize some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security? This does not bode well for the dog. Never was the Mutt's biggest fan, but we could have used the backup telepath. Just because the tower shut down doesn't mean Cosmo is too. Last time we were here, he knocked out me, Gamora, and Drax, and Lady Hellbender's bounty hunters, like it was nothing. We just gotta have faith he's okay. Kinda dreading what we're gonna see in the marketplace. The same thing we saw when we flew in. Yeah, but it'll be up close. Oh, I really stunk sometimes, but... Clark! Over there! There's so many of them. I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise. Everyone wants something they can't have. Yeah, but these crooks were suspicious of anyone. You're right, Rocket. The people who lived here were rough. I once saw someone beat someone else to a pulp because they gave them a compliment. No way they'd willingly join up. A sword to the throw can be very convincing. So can the promise. They got Clark and Faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hal's Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun inside the Continuum Cortex. To siphon Faith from multiple worlds at once? Is that even possible? The energy ain't filling these batteries. It's moving away from them. So they're powering something. Sure looks like it. Okay, I think we got the drop on these guys. Do not fear death. Don't mean we can't hurt him first. They want wide open. Shoot the girl. We shall make this wall permanent. Keep them busy, crew. Gamora, slice them up. One less cultist to worry about. Gamora's commandment number one. More Thou batteries the deeper stab. we go. Hundred units says they're tied to the fulfillment. The priest said that they were bringing. They can't raise the dead. Especially after we save Nikki. I've been thinking about what Warlock said. Hi. He hasn't stopped talking since we met him. About how Nikki and that Magus thing might be too intertwined to save her. Is that what he said? It's easier to understand Bug Lady. Looks like we can squeeze through. We must be close to Mantlo's bar. Can you see it? Not really. There's a lot of debris in the way. Well, that didn't work. Clark, I'm going in. What about the fanatics? I'll toast them if I see them. We're the only ones that can do this, right? Gamora, you should be able to get your sword in there now. Give me a boost. Oh, Scott! Not Mantlo's. Look at her. This is personal, Quill. Surprised the church was 
able to seize the Cortex. It seemed pretty secure last time. There has been no sign of Goldie Bronze since he left from our ship. Adam Warlock. It might be splatted somewhere across the lower city. Or got picked up by a wandering creep squad. Yeah, what do we need the Golden Boy for anyways? We were doing fine without him. Sweet. I was not fine. Point. Magus was devouring my soul. Your memory is suspect. Warlock's stronger than any of us. And he's got a pretty good... Careful. There's treachery ahead. Okay. We got this. Whoa. The Emporium used to be right here. Did the church destroy it? Doubt it. The Collector probably blasted out of here at the first sign of trouble. Before the first sign, the Collector's supposed to be able to see the future. Oh yeah? Never saw me coming, that's for sure. Had no idea I'd bust Groot out of there. Are you? <laughs> Hero? <laughs> Don't get all mushy on me now. I wrote it. I'm not crying, I'm just remembering all the jobs I did here. Rockets talked about these. He's gonna love this. Sign of the warlock. Based on when he jumped, he's probably already in the lower city. Turkey's dropping in. He'll be dropping like a lie soon enough. Do your thing, Drax. Destroy. Rocket fireworks. like a dead end for some more than others looks like the church is trying to keep us out of there that's not gonna work careful Peter Quill guys look down it's an awful lot of light you're thinking it's the full Flarkman ain't you but it could just be runoff from the cables. Whatever these whack jobs are up to, they need a lot of juice. Perhaps this is how they powered their fleet to reach Aventus. Nah. Nikki had Warlock's soul stone in her hand. What if it's fused there and Raker's trying to remove it? Not like he did with Goldilocks? It didn't work all that well the first time. The girl may have sensed the evil in the stone and insisted they try again. Or she's outlived her usefulness and Raker wants the stone to power for himself. Regardless, she understands the time to and stop whatever they're doing. That's not the way to Cosmos. There might be something down there we can use. Brute. Ah, the seedy underbelly, seedy underbelly. You know, they used to run a poacher's ring out of here. Is that what that smell was? I was really hoping there'd be other bikes down here. Can you squeeze in there? Yep. Yeah. Let's see where it goes. So if there were hover bikes down here? We could have hopped on and zipped down to the lower city. Me and Groot used to do it all the time. There you go. Should be safe. Thank Flark these boots are waterproof. Dead end. Let's continue before Nikki becomes a dead end, too. Our level of cooperation is invigorating. We have become a formidable team. Yep, sure have, Drax. Ain't we just one big, happy Flark and family? What are you doing?
one with that garbage? She's not garbage. Good. Gamora, wait! Hold on a sec! Why? So more children can be sacrificed in the name of Rager's flarked up church? Of course not. Just... Just what, Peter? I don't know. Breathe. Every minute we waste. We don't have time to breathe. I know Raker brings back bad memories. This isn't about Thanos! It's about Nikki. And what men like Raker and Thanos do to girls like her. Like me. My sister. If I had just been better at protecting Nebula, maybe... Maybe she wouldn't be dead. Whoa. What? Nebula's dead? How? By who? Tell me, so I can find him and shake his attacking hand. By me. You killed your sister? She is the one you saw in the Matriarch's Promise. That's how I knew it was a lie. The nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation starter. Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of 
course we can. How can you be friends with a monster? Why would you want that on your team? A team I actually kind of enjoyed being on, all things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have. What? I'm just saying it don't change nothing. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted she loves us. I did not. You did? You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. That is the Katathian definition of love. Like. I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agreed. That's about all the love fest I can take. We accept you, Gamora Zenwubri. Pretty sure we're married now. This is excruciating. All right, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. Let's say we go stop a nutjob cult leader. Yes. Let's get to the bridge. Cosmos Tower is the quickest way. Too wide to cross. Maybe we can bridge the gap. We keep saying bridge, and it's starting to sound like a made-up word. Drax? I have been eager to topple something over. You know, I usually hated when that Cosmos spotlight would shine down on me. Really? A fate force field? If we can find the power source, we should be able to turn it off. Let's get a look. That's it, Peter. Let's go. We need to get out of here before Raker shows up. All right, get ahead. Let's book it. How <laughs> Guardians of the galaxy. The Matriarch has chosen to enact the fulfillment from this station. And you shall not stop her. She hasn't chosen anything. You've been manipulating her from the start. She is the light. And I am merely her servant. Kinda hard to be the light with that dark monster thingy inside of her. Blasphemy! You may have rejected her promise. But you will. 
returns you from death's cold clutches. Your pain has pushed you to a perilous precipice, old friend. You die. The form is fleeting, but the foundation remains forever. Now cease this stubborn senselessness before it reaps a ruinous reward. Ruinous. Don't! 
Watch Tower! We still have to fight our way through! Blow away, Rocket! Okay, we gotta get to that elevator! They called it! The full floor fit! That was not the game! I like it better! Finally! I think they're giving up. Just in time, because we're not getting back on that bridge. I know where we are. There's a road nearby that intersects the main bridge to Cosmos. That's one way down. The best way. <laughs> we need to be on the other side of this thing. We're not getting over. Would under suffice? Look! They're still at it! At least our guy seems to be winning. Sure are destroying a lot of advertising today. Like we need another reminder to buy Calex cream. This carnage brings back troubling memories of worlds I destroyed. Always wondered, what did you use to do that? Oh, you gotta be flarkin kidding me. Uh, Groot thinks we'll be nowhere royalty once we save it. Assuming they don't blame us for the Grand Unicorn. I did see a floor directly below- Don't suppose Groot knows another side route. If I could just get to the other side, I could hack that thing and drop the bridge. If you can get to the other side, we can get to the other side, and it wouldn't matter. <sighs> Throw me. What? Throw me! Just get muscles to huck me across. Do you have any idea how far down it is if you miss? We ain't got time to argue. I'll make it. Leave this to me! Whoa! Glad that was a You are a valued member of this team. Not a tool to be thrown about. Worried about this ritual. And what's really gonna happen if you can't stop it? Ain't gonna be dead people coming back, holding hands and wagging tails, that's for sure. We won't have to worry about that. I know I can get through to Nikki. This is Raker's doing, not hers. I won't give up on her either. Nor will I. Yeah, and neither will the Grand Unicorn. He will regret it. How dumb are these Flartnards to even fall for this full Flarkment garbage? Magus demands adulation, trapping you with vile illusion while feeding on your soul. Holy faith! All that light isn't leading to the Cortex. It is the Cortex. How could that mutt let this happen? Looks like you'll get to ask him yourself. This isn't going to end well. Cosmo! We've got to get down there! Don't count him out just yet. I've seen him get out of worse scrapes. This is being exposed to the bus. Get away from my dog! Make them hurt, Gamora! Drax, destroy! Wipe them out, Rocket! Cosmo, you've got to snap out of it! Need your help here, buddy! Why does the dog not lie last them? Nothing's wrong with him! These deleted souls do not know what you are! Lock it low, Rocket! I guess this means there's no nowhere resistance! I wasn't expecting it! Pretty tough for an old machine! Oh! I hope that felt as bad as it looked!
spot for hours! One of them now. He's our friend. Yeah, so was Drax. And I ain't going inside this Fleabag's head. Maybe he doesn't have to come to that. Hey, buddy. Are you, uh... <laughs> Take him out before it's too late. Wait! He's still in there. I can hear him. I hear only barking. Focus your mind. He's there. Ah, uh, oh, fuck it. Just shoot the mutt. <sighs> Easy, bud. Friends, remember? Is Piotr cool? Because one knows never lie. Yeah, buddy. It's me. It's all of us. Where is Cosmo Smil? Smell of nowhere. Where else would we be? Fur brain. His mind is addled. Or he is simply a dog. He doesn't see us. He's still in the promise. Cosmo, where are you? What do you see? Blue sky. In cars to chase. Cosmo is big. Duma. How you see? Home. He's talking about Earth. Smell of fresh grass. Feeling of dirt between paws. No psychic burden. Just walkies for going. And the ball for fetching. If you missed your home planet, could you not simply return at any time? Nowhere is your home. Right here and now. Nowhere is nothing. Dead hit. Mind for scrap. It's way more than that. This place is special. If by men you mean I saved your bark, then... Yeah, we met here. It's true. Nowhere was first place since Earth. Cosmo not feel like stray dog. First time Cosmo forget what was lost. This place is a haven for misfits like us. Like you. It's home. Earth is just some rock where you were born. It's not about rock. It's about what Cosmo had on rock. Foot of bed for sleeping, belly for rubbing, collar with name. You miss being someone's property? Cosmo not property. Belong to family. Then one day, family gone. Men in suits sent Cosmo into space. Cosmo searched many dog years for those he lost. But yet... You... had owners. It sounds like they gave you up. What about your puppies, Cosmo? They're your family. Cosmo Young are... They're here, man. And they're counting on you. For love. For protection. But... Humans call for Cosmo to heal. Must be loyal. Those pups actually need you. Be loyal to them. Don't abandon 
abandon them in space the way you were. Cosmo would never! But you have! They're somewhere here on nowhere, maybe needing your help right now. Come on, Cosmo, you gotta know this doesn't smell right. Pyotr Quill is right. Cosmo human have no smell. They are wicked perversions, you must bite them with all your might. Be gone! Cosmo not fit your eyes. That's it, buddy, you tell them! Nowhere is Cosmo home be. His pups, his family. You protect the all cost! Sick him, boy! <sighs> Should we help him? I mean, we may need him. I am optimistic for the beast's recovery. Cosmo's got his mission. We've got ours. Let's get to the Cortex. You think he'll be okay? He's got a thick coat. All right, I still got access codes from when me and Groot were on vacation. You mean when you quit the team? Why do you always gotta be so... Flark! Attack and scr... Perhaps you entered the code incorrectly. I have made the same mistake. With those sausage fingers? Of course you have. These nimble digits don't make mistakes. I fear I will regret this. Just don't start kicking up dust. So, stolen codes, jail time... What exactly were you and Groot doing down here before? We got a gig from an old contact at Mantlos, before you barged in for a family reunion with Mr. No Lips. Not the weirdest guy I know. You're the weirdest guy I know. The flark was that? An earthquake? Unlikely. We are not on Earth. Whatever they're doing, I think they just took us to the next level. The ritual must be starting soon. Good question, bud. How do we know we could even stop something this powerful? Eh, probably a question for the bug lady. When he was in his promise, Drax said Magus was... Eating my soul. And anything that eats can die, right? That don't sound too scientific. Yuck. I am so done with brains in the Universal Church of Crap. Guardian of Galaxy, Cosmo is owing Bolshoi there. Welcome back! Hey, we've got an army of church goods between us and the Cortex. You coming? Yeah. Cosmo is retaking power of security, where his pups are hiding. Without power, nowhere is being lost. Us too. Gotcha. Be careful up there, buddy. That floaty my guy's really starting to tick me off. I agree. The electric field informant must perish next. <laughs> Drop him, Gamora! Order up! This is a site of power! A fine place for a bloody battle! Let him have it, Drax! Put down that giant brain drain! Perhaps our enemies can find out! Face first! Brain security detail. Gross. That's a lot of brain powder. Yeah, that stuff will turn your airway to sludge. Gray lung, they call it. I've got my mask. Oh, that won't help. Them particles are so fine, they're already seeping right in. You probably already got the gray lung. Drax, a little help, Evo? Drax, over here, hurry! I move as swiftly as is necessary. Well, you know I was just messing with you. What's that? There ain't no such thing as gray lung. <clears throat> oh, yeah. You know. <laughs> oh, you so fell for it. Gray lung. Ooh. 
dropped it. You guys know. Oh, yeah. Naturally. You're always good for a laugh, Quill. Yes. What do you see? Um, same stuff, but higher. I don't know what's more dizzying in this place, looking up or looking down. Neither. Look your enemies in their eyes. What if I could? Staring down somebody's crotch ain't as effective. This place is practically falling apart. Could be all of nowhere, looks like this soon. Hey, Groot, think you can get me up there? Right about there. This seems a perfect task. I want to get a look from up high. Scoping? Scoping. Weird. Brains. Goes sour if it sits too long. Smells like metal and I don't know, something else. Creo. What's that? It's the waste product of a large catapi slug. I'm not sure slug piss is exactly what I was thinking of. It is unmistakable. That's one way of putting it. It is an accurate statement. Well, it don't help none. Oh, what have they done to you? Perhaps there is a way to steer nowhere directly into the rift. Minor hiccup we need to consider. How do we even shut down the cortex now that it's all supercharged? Yeah, there ain't gonna be an easy off button on that thing. Any chance you can hack it? Uh, we ain't talking about some junky appliance. We'll blow it up if that's what it takes. We're dealing with power we've never seen before. No way we'd survive that. I will do it. While the rest of you flee, it'll be an honor. You don't know nothing about explosives. And this is Flarkin' nowhere, man. I ain't blowing up nowhere. Or any of us. of our own. Let's watch out for quakes. Man, I really hope Warlock makes it to the finish line. <laughs> no, Goldie ain't counting on us. To him, we're just a bunch of scut soiling his fancy boots. He's seen what we can do. More importantly, we know what we can do. All right, easy now. So, once we get Nikki, we wait for Warlock to catch up? And the bug lady. Our plan requires a great many people. Who said saving the galaxy would be easy? Let's just take it one thing at a time. Get Nikki and stop this fulfillment thing. How pragmatic of you. Try not to count my chickens before they hatch. That would be counting eggs. Now is clearly not the time for that. Careful. It gets a little... Whoa, 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 whoa. Peter, do you want to do the honors? Totally. Watch this. Surprise! Time for the big guns! Punch them up! Go! 
got this one! Police are coming from everywhere! They ain't getting the drop on me! It almost feels like we're up against the entire army! The focus should be divided between here and the heart of pain! I will end you! Pop it out, okay, guy! Let's see that sword! Cut to the chest! We see Raker in there! He's fine! I'll try to drop Sticky down if she's in there! Good riddance. Now the true battle begins. Everyone ready? Game face is on. Have only one face. We'll put it in mean mode. Ha! <laughs> Done! What's everybody thinking? I'm thinking if Goldie didn't finish him off already, I got a grenade with Raker's name on it. Whatever they're up to with the Cortex, it stops now. This is nowhere. Our nowhere. Best and right. Let's show these Darkhards <gasps> Everyone quiet. What did they do to the Cortex? Nikki! They strapped her to their Flarkin machine. And they're making the hand direct all the galaxy's faith energy right into it. Fulfillment has begun. We gotta get her out of there, but how? Free the hand, and they lose power. I count four cables. Let's pull them out. My blade should be able to slice this to them! Wreck huh? tracks! Big guy is not I'll enjoy this!
Fanatic! These deluded souls do not know when to quit! We don't get sloppy! We can end this! Speak for yourself! Loud and sloppy is how I get things done! Hey, Quill! Wanna see some fire? Here we go! Oh, no! Guys! I might need some help! Then just stay away. This is why I don't have kids. Nikki, this isn't gonna end how you think. Says who? You? I saw what you did. You should want to take it back. I can feel the light inside me. The promise will be fulfilled. Does she not realize her plan has been thwarted? <laughs> A minor setback. Isn't that right, Grand Unifier? Cortex was meant merely to ease the burden on you, Matriarch. We shall retreat to... Please, give me an excuse to kill him. Is this him? The first divine vessel? A pale shadow to your magnificence, Matriarch. Let him watch me do what he could not. I'll draw faith across the entire galaxy myself if I have to. If you think you can handle... I'll handle whatever it takes. Nick. Damn it! Eh, they ain't getting far. I got a tracker on Golden Boy's butt. You what? Yeah, I tagged him back on the bridge in case he ditched us again. We just gotta get back to the Milano. Rocket, don't ever change. Tracker's online. Confirming Goldie's on the Daston Sacro Scut. Seatbelts, everyone. We're going in hot. Crap. Hold on. Hold on. Got him! Alpha Hercules system, inside the Keystone Asterism. Got it. Coordinates are in. They're not getting away this time. Power down, power down. How the flark are we supposed to fight that? Yeah, Nova Core. The world mind must have. Come on. I don't think they're with the world mind anymore. Cops flying next to pirates, merchant vessels, military. Anybody who would have fought back's already here. Playing for the wrong team.
Well, can't say we didn't try. Nikki's in there somewhere. There's gotta be a way. Yes, we overpower them with our own vastly superior fleet. Well, regrettably, we do not have them. Guys, we do our best work when we're out of options. Somebody's gotta have something. Rocket, anything? Uh, what about the Ravagers? You could ask for a temporary truce. Yondu's rotting away in the kiln, thanks to me. Could bust them out. Jailbreak the kiln. I'd rather take my chances with the church fleet. I'll bust them out. Yeah, I'd bet on Gamora. As would I. I am so would I, but it doesn't matter. The rest of the Ravagers scattered during the war. Any survivors are laying low or serving time in one of a dozen backwater planets. Besides, what's a pirate without a ship? <laughs> Groot, and no bad ideas. I am Groot. Yeah, that's a bad idea. We're not going to the Shatari. That is the kind of wild card we're looking for, just not that one. The snakes would shoot us in the back. Assuming they don't shoot us in the front. Drax. You have royal blood. Perhaps it is time for the Prince of Spartax to return and rally his people. You been to Spartax lately? I have not, but Spartoi technology is well beyond- Spartax was sacked during the war because of its tech. You can't even land there anymore. <laughs> Gamora, thoughts? Maybe Earth has heroes that can help us? Those guys in the pajamas? Mighty pajamas. Trust me, Earth hasn't caught up to everybody just yet. We need somebody with a fleet. <laughs> Hold on. What if the answer's been slobbering right in front of us this entire time? Peter Quinn, this, this beast cannot operate a ship. That's, that's not what I'm saying. Think about it. Cammy's pretty much useless to us, but she's also useless to the church. They want people to brainwash. I bet animals aren't even on their radar. They went after Cosmo. Cosmo's mind is way more advanced than ours. His intelligence makes him weak to the promise, just like Rocket. Thanks, but not an animal. What I'm saying is we know someone with an entire beast army, and I bet Raker hasn't even looked twice at her. How can you be certain she is not one of them? I am Groot. Guardians of the Gut! Nope, she's good. You do realize she still wants to flay us and feed us to her babies? Guys, this is it. Okay, our one last long shot. We've got to find a way to apologize and make things right. Okay, well, we'll get her a gift. A peace offering. Groot ain't going back in a cage. No, no, but think bigger. Way bigger. The one beast that she'd want more than any other. Drax knows what I'm talking about. Oh, yes! Oh, no, 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 no. Here it comes! You know where we're going! To Mach Lufour! To battle the legendary Fin Fang Foom! <laughs> gonna fly into that, aren't we? They say that the rings of Maku 4 perpetually rain fire down upon the godless abominations that dwell below. How fun. <laughs> I'm sure it's worse than it looks, too. It is. Many of my people braved this same treacherous pilgrimage before me, never to return. Something! Show off? <laughs> hey, if you got it...
Stabilizers are soft! Repair systems are overloaded! If we are destined to crash, try at least to crash into Finfight Foom! Nobody's crashing! Oh, we're crashing! These peaks are treacherous, Peter Quill! I know, I know! I'm doing my best! Are you? Fear! Fear! Stop yelling! Fear! Watch out for the thing, Peter! Quick, Peng! Pretty sure she means all the things! Watch out for the thing! Yeah, I got it! Oh, Scott! Oh, Scott! <laughs> Glorious! How are you enjoying this? Coming down hard! Hang on! <laughs> Okay, right? <laughs> <laughs> and we're laughing. That's good. It's just, it's perfect. This is us. This is how we park. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is how Quill parks, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> we were not fated to die this day. Unless, of course, Fin Fang Foom devours us whole. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? Oh, this is insane. This is how we park, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that definitely shouldn't be sparking. We can worry about that after we catch our dragon. And convince Lady Albender to help us bust the church a new one. Before setting out on our quest, let us rouse our... At last, the hunt for Fin Fang Foom truly begins. A monster that... All right, let's do this. <laughs> Shivering tit wishes it's cold. <laughs> That's not really how that saying goes. You want to correct me? Or you want to find Fin Fang Foom and save the galaxy? I want Fin Fang Foom. And the galaxy saving thing, I guess. Assuming Hellbender even goes for this. Lady Hellbender will go for it. Okay. Well, I ain't seeing no Foom folks. The legends of rain and fire are true. Any other legends we should know about? of glorious death! Well, as long as it's glorious! Watch out! We did not come here to be slain by ice and rocks. There is only one noble way to die on Mark IV, like so many of my people before us. Someone remind Drax we ain't come here to die! No one's dying! We're taking Foom alive! We're handing him over to Lady Hellbender alive! and we're getting her to help us take on the church's armada. All right, Drax, let's channel some of that excitement toward this rock. I shall pretend that is the head of Fin Fang Foom. Great. Drax just shattered the skull of the thing we're supposed to capture. Bye-bye, galaxy. Groot says he wants to take it all in. Take your time, buddy. Might be your last chance to take anything in. Think Foom's in there? Fantasy books taught me anything? It's that dragons love to hang out inside mountains. <coughs> Groot wants to know if those books said anything about catching dragons. I'm sure it had something to do with teamwork and trust. <coughs> he can't remember the details because he didn't read the whole thing. I read a lot of different dragon books, okay? And there was always a mountain, and the good guys always win. <coughs> <laughs> Ain't no one writing a book about us. I think I see something up ahead! Does it have big scary claws? Look, my people were here. Didn't we see these in Drax's memories when Mantis linked us all together? They're Katathian hunt markers. Look 
Okay, team. If we can't make quick work of this thing, then we got no right going after Fin Fang Fu. I'll send I'm thinking I can get a pretty good vantage point from the top of this thing. I can see the whole crater from up here! Maybe Foom's not in the mountain after all. Maybe he's down there somewhere. You tell us! I mean, if I were a dragon, I'd definitely want to stop around down there. Legends do tell of Fin Fang Foom stalking Maku's greatest caldera. Good enough for me! We can probably work our way around the edge and find a way down. Leave ho! Not a problem. <gasps> Flark and Halla! Whoa. Get a load of them claw marks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we need to cross here, too. I could clear the rubble from that ledge, Peter Quill. Okay! I'm thinking this is step one of a multi-step solution to get across this chasm. All right, and what are the next steps? Still working on that one. Incoming! So step two of your plan is crushing us all! I think I see what he's up to. Yeah, crushing us all! Final step, Drax. If we can topple some of those rocks, we got ourselves a path. <laughs> Glorious! I swear, I've never seen you in such a good mood. Because you have never seen me on the Great Hunt before. What about our quarantine zone mission? Guys, this isn't just another monster hunt. It is a legendary hunt. No. I mean, we're not here for the monster. Well, we are. I'm pretty sure it sees us, whatever it is. Great. More foam food to deal with. Do not underestimate anyone who's alive on this planet. Good advice. Shouldn't it be too cold for worms on this planet? They've adopted! We need to do the same! Okay, let's just think things through a moment. Since when is that a thing we do? What if we're too late? What if Raker finishes what he started and the ritual... Then we're doing all of this for nothing. Not for nothing. If our final act is to challenge Fin Fang Foo, it will be an honorable final act. Eh, I don't do final acts. I'm a survivor. Let us hope we are not too late. All right, let's figure out a way to get through here. We're in a rush, apparently. Let's do it. One step closer. I hope. There. See? More... ominous peaks. This planet's starting to give me the creeps. I keep thinking Foom's gonna claw us from behind. Fin Fang Foom is a legendary beast. Legendary beasts do not claw from behind. Maybe not. Smart ones do. They say that Fin Fang Foom uses the planet's treacherous surface to test would-be adversaries. Uh, Lady Hellbender legends all over again. The plague, Kakarastra! Careful! A deadly gas. How do you know? Hello? He's an assassin? 
So here's an idea. Why don't we lure Boom into one of these gas caves? Knock him out. Cowardly. I want full credit for the kill. For the last time, Drax. We're not killing Fin Fang Boom. We're catching him to give the Lady Hellbender so she forgives us and hopefully helps us fight the church. Rocket, are you neck deep in water? We're about to stare down a legendary dragon with the fate of the entire galaxy at stake. I ain't gonna hold this up. Wow. I'm impressed. You really conquered your fear. Yeah, well, it ain't about me no more. Instead of giving her full any chance, Lady Eight, like to do with me. Some rocket! Rocket! They don't see all that fast! Maybe we can run! Keep shooting or they'll hold it on us, Peter! Red Soul Claw! Death has come! Like a hot knock! Wish you could have landed a little closer, Peter! Hello? The arduous journey is all part of the great hunt! <laughs> Groot, loving the initiative. So trajo to cloak. So trajo to cloak. Helldog or Morgoth. So to flounder God. Don't leave me hanging. Galmak, Galmak, Soldat Flanders Gun! <laughs> nice! Who won't know what hit him? We'll be more resilient than a boulder, Peter Quill. I know. I'm just trying to be positive. Why? I think it's a team building thing. We require no further team building. Assuming we live that long. Peter, look! There's smoke ahead! Boom! It's boom! Yes! Oh, I'm going, keep going! Foom, you seen him? Big wings, nasty teeth. Purple shorts. What do you mean, purple shorts? What, I heard he wears purple shorts. Ancient legends do tell of such a thing. See? Oh, yeah. 
I like this one. <sighs> Let's see those things in action. I'm on it. Melt that one, too. And that one. I swear, Quill, you get all the fun toys. I am so jealous right now, Quill. You should be. Aside, mortals, and allow the Meltinator to do his mighty work. That's a terrible name. Huh? Got a better one? PD Hot Guns. No! Captain Fireball. Not even a fireball. More like a uh, heat claw. Captain Heat Claw. No, no. At least it ain't quite as cold in this cave. You're the one with fur. Roots practically make it. Root don't get cold, but it's a big baby in the heat. Hey, we're all flammable. One more time, Groot. I'm Groot. Here's good. that rock tried to murder us or we'd have never got Quill's sweet new power. Maybe we should almost kill you more often? Where'd they go? What the flark? It might be his name. Maybe he's trying to communicate. Please don't. Where'd he go? See? He just wanted to... We know they're all around us. Check out these pointy trees. Don't check them out too closely. Groot says watch out for those plants with all the holes on top. Burn, baby, burn! Ha <laughs> ha! It's nice. I ain't ever gonna get tired of that. Keep your eyes peeled. I smell an ambush. Your senses must be finely tuned. I smell nothing. But we are clearly still being stalked by the snow beasts. They ain't exactly subtle. Wendigo! Ah! It burns! Root says they've got corrosive spores. If you don't get too close. says those plants deserve it. Keep it up! I'm just gonna get more. You think Golden Boy is getting tortured right now? More likely Warlock is torturing Breaker. Golden One is formidable. I think she meant with his mouth, Drax. That is not an effective means of torture. Another plant falls to Captain Heat. I imagined Foom would sense our arrival and rush to face us. I am. Look, Will, it's your new best bud. I'd say communication has failed. Another up there. Where did he go? Why can't we ever just meet a nice local? We do tend to attract a certain sort! They ain't that smart if they're fighting us! I am a 
unsure of what you speak, but the Windigo is dead! You could not have done that, assassin! No wonder they're grumpy, living on this hunk of ice! <laughs> Maybe this is what we'll become if we stay! Ah! A good fight warms the blood! Or you could try a sweater! Keep the breathing room through! Deadliest woman incoming! Shoot! Shoot! No doubt these beasts serve as sustenance for food! Good! Then we're depriving him of a meal! <laughs> Okay, I'm done playing with the snow monkeys. Wendigo. Is that really what we're calling them? Hey, they're the ones who keep yelling Wendigo. Wendigo. Maybe Hellbender will want to add some of those Wendigo to her army. Assuming they don't know the word. Oh! 
heart still hurts from that slide! That ain't the pain in the ass I'm worried about right now! What is next, Peter Quill? I got all these toys, I'm just dying for you! Watch your back! You guys get a load of that wreck, Skip? Perhaps these creatures were once spacefaring! This has got my name on it! Uh. camp we saw? Nah, this thing has been here for ages. Look, the smoke's coming from the other side of it. About yay high. Yay is not a unit to measure. Groot knows what he means. These snow beasts have whet my appetite. I am eager to slay the great Fin Fang Fu. What do you see, Peter? Rocket's right. The smoke's coming from the other side, but we gotta clear the way. We can deal with that once all of us are up there. All right, heads up. We're gonna drop something down for you guys. They say Fin Fang Fu is a foe unlike any one could imagine. Look out below! Ha! That'll work! You think those creatures were using this ship for shelter? Screw them. They're dead. Here, give me a hand. We should be ready. We don't know the source of that smoke. We need more hostiles. Maybe it's just a nice warm fire and some cigar and spirits. Ooh, maybe it's a barbecue. What's barbecue? What? You guys have never had barbecue? Charbroiled burgers, grilled steaks, baby back ribs? Whatever it is, it smells... Bodies. It smells of bodies. Jeez. Was all this foom? Undoubtedly. Up ahead. Looks like there's a survivor. Who goes there? No head. She has no head. I believe that repulsive tentacle orb is her. And I can hear you with it. Are you the only survivor? Clearly not. Who are you, Meat Sacks? We're here for foam. Forget what I said. Yeah, I'm the only survivor. Or will be. I take it you know where we can find him? Sure. Digesting my men back at his roost. 
Big ice obelisk sticking out of the caldera's frozen sea. Don't worry, we'll take care of Foom. Sure you will, Terran. Just don't come running back here when he chases you. I've still got some things to pack up. Sorry about your men. Eh, dead men collect no paychecks. Speaking of, aren't you the Mad Titan's daughter? What of it? Relax, I'm not looking for trouble. There was a time I'd have taken you in for the bounty. There was a time I'd have killed you for trying. <laughs> yeah, seems we've both got bigger problems right now. Seems like... Another hunt marker? This one is unclaimed. No doubt it belonged to one of these corpses. Guess they never got the chance to plan it. I've appropriated it for our own use. To herald our bravery this day, shall mark our ultimate conquest, or our glorious defeat. Who may be bad news, but he's nothing compared to the fight that comes next. It shall mark our penultimate conquest. One conquest at a time. All right, people. Let's catch us a dragon. Yes, we grow ever closer to our great destiny. You're awful, Chipper, considering Boom obliterated that camp like it was nothing. We are not nothing. Whoa! Hey, Keith, the ice is amplifying our velocity! care of the getting down part. I don't even want to think about how we're going to get back up. Or how we're going to get Boom up there. Guys, come on! We ride a dragon! Ride. Foom. Hunter old me would be so jealous right now. You think Foom is going to let us ride him after we kick his butt? You're getting all caught up in the details. We could be dragon riders. Dragon riders! Ooh, I didn't think it could get any colder. You know, it's days like these I'm glad I installed seat warmers in the Milano. Up ahead, there's the ice obelisk. This must be it, the frozen sea. This is the perfect spot. Here we will challenge the great beast. Fin Fai Foom, come and face your death. What are you doing? We can't get the drop on him if he knows we're here. Also, we're not killing him, remember? Shout with me. Here we demonstrate our metal. Fin Fang Foom! Your end draws near! Nope, not his end. Your quill. Go! Uh, fin Fang Foom! It's nap time! Okay, it's your turn. Did you say my real name? Just through here. Be ready for anything. That is technically impossible. We spooked him. Impossible. Foom was born without fear. You don't know that. In the cold heart of a dying star. Dying stars ain't cold. This one was. You think his lair's behind that? Let's find out.
ready! Light him up, Rocket! Come on, Gamora! It'll be a slide! Come on, Pearl! 
screwed up. We conned you, robbed you, killed your baby. We can't take back what we've done, but we want to make it right. Uh, Quill. Heard the Dragon Lord of Kakarantara! the two of us together. Lord Foom. The final harvest begins. Dead worlds screaming across space. We must go. Now. Someone needs to take a stand against the church. We could really use some help. You pay one debt, then create another? No, though I can kind of see... Enough. I will gather my forces. All right, 
Let's go. Lady Hellbender shall fight alongside us this day. After we bested Foom, Foom the Invincible. Maybe you found Drax's peanut butter and chocolate. We are on the path to destiny, my friends. I still can't believe we did it. We did do it, right? We sure did, and we got Mantis back. <sighs> but we lost Warlock, and we'll need him to exercise the Magus once we shut down that ritual. So we bust him out of cult prison. I've done jailbreaks before, we all have. We still tracking them? <laughs> oh yeah, that thing ain't coming out easy. Good, then all we gotta do is get there on time and hope Lady Hellbender does too. Uh, she will, I'm certain of it. Alright, let's gear up people. Tie up any loose ends, take a pee if you have to, cause we're not stopping again. <clears throat> hey, Quill. Let me borrow your tunes. Why? I need the focus. Come on. Do not drop that. Someone says my name, and then there's a little bit of pee. Great. I did not want to know that. I Oh yeah, little fuzzy. Maybe the little bit of pee is you. Nope. Now that's a knife. It is indeed a spectacular. Peter Quill, spar with me. <laughs> uh, I, I think I'll pass. I wonder if he knows what it... Hey, uh, Bug Lady. You see anything about this mission we should know about? I don't see much. Here goes nothing. Eh, no, scratch that. Here go the Guardians of the Galaxy. Woohoo! I'm gonna barf. looks twice as big now. Wrong. It's at least thrice as big. That's the biggest I've ever seen it. What now? Kill the lights, kill the engines, and wait for Lady Hellbender to show up. <laughs> We're sure she's coming, right? She is a woman of honor. A queen. She promised to gather her forces. And how long is that gonna take? Too long? No. We can't be too late. We gotta save the galaxy and Nikki. One way or another, we need to get in there and shut down that ritual. We can't take on a fleet that big. Little Fuzzy! Rocky, what are you doing, man? We need to get into Sacrosanct to disrupt the ritual, right? We all know we get killed out here. So, I'm gonna make a really loud distraction. My tunes! Yeah, I rigged it to blast your scuddy music across all channels. While the church is out looking for the source... We cut the engines and we flow silently right past them to board the Sacrosanct. Smart! Seriously? Fine. But we're getting it back as soon as we win. Now get back in here! Find a place to park. Look at those boys. More deception is working. Don't sound so surprised. We 
are so gonna get my music back once this is all done. Sorry, Quill. Chances are they're gonna blast it to pieces once they pin it down. Let's make sure this sacrifice counts. Can we not call it that? The Monster Lords of Seknaf-9 hunger for battle! We're not hiding. We are sneaking. Because we need to get into Sacrosanct alive. Then we will slaughter as many as we can out here while you fight your way in. Eat, my children! Crack open their shells and feast upon the sweet meats inside! <laughs> <laughs> this is so metal. All right, people, let's take advantage of the nice lady murdering spree. We're busting into Sacrosanct. That landing bay's our way in, but there's still a lot of pain between here and there. Maybe we can blow past them. Risky. Boom! Ha! Taking fire. That one's toast. We got a piece of that guy. Try not to get shot. Anyone spot any damage from that explosion I rigged last time we were here? On a ship this big? Are you crazy? Direct hit. Now this is a proper dogfight. That's a hit. Crap, that's a lot of turrets. Gotcha. Damage report. Stop getting hit and there won't be no damage. Useful, thanks. Tag them! Yeah! Cheap shot! Careful! And we're in! Mantis, you sure you can fly her? Yes! Sometimes! On. Maybe you should. Two arms! The enemy approaches! Rocket, any sign of Warlock? Yeah, my tracker's going gold, but it's a central rock for me. We gotta get out of this hangar. Tell them that! <laughs> Put your lights out! I scrambled more than a spray with that one! The hangar's wide open! We can attack from anywhere! As long as the ships don't spot us, we should be okay! Yeah, Bruce! We really know exactly why we're here! You heard them! Let's hit them until they pop and crunch! These guys really need to work on their hospitality. In some cultures, this is considered hospitality. What's next, Peter? This is about well, my name on it. me onto these fools. Buy some time, group. Commandment number one! Thou shalt stab! These base crates are unstable! Make 
actual experience? Woo! 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 Trash! Kick them! Really missing my cues right now, Rocket! We will honor your sacrifice, Peter Quill! Please did shield them from that! Hellbender's entrance was quite respectable. Walk out of here! How close are we? Not close! Which is why we need to keep moving! Yeah! They called in the creep elite! At least they brought the elevator for us! Carve of a new one! Fuck the way, Rocket! These guys really need to work on their hospitality! Tell them later! After their dead! One restores his companions! All the more reason to kill him first! No fair! He's boosting everyone but us! they took him prisoner instead of just killing him. And there's a lot of faith Scott beaming into this place. Warlock hates Magus. He already evicted the thing once. Maybe they made up. You booted me and Groot, but here we are. I did not. You left. My point stands. No. If Magus had turned Warlock, he would have been here to greet us. Scott. We need to go that way. See if you can overload it. Are they still mad at us? Okay, okay. Sorry we left such a mess last time we were here. No, we ain't. Uh. 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 to quit. Or a slice of us. Cut to pieces. Think they'll tell us where Warlock is? We don't need them to! Tracker's working fine! Another crazy cultist dealt with! The Mars Commandment! Time for the big gun! I kinda wanna know how they made so many uniforms in such a short time! The fabric inhibits their potential! We made another mess! <laughs> Groot's right! They started it! It's a big cult! They've gotta have janitors! Oh good! 
Good, here comes the cleaning crew. The spill is back that way, boys. Do not believe these people are janitors. Rocket, go wild! Imagine the havoc, Lady Hellbender must be wreaking outside. Who probably crunched half the armada by now? Tell us where Warlock is? Don't think they're out for much of a chat! My fists have ground the leader! Good! There's a lot more where he came from! Chop him up! Get the point! I guess it was a pretty controlled role for the pub lady, I mean. Got him. 
Golden Boy's this way. Come on. Yes, we're going out into space. We got no other options. And I got a theory. Yup, artificial gravity. Figured a ship this big would need it for repairs and stuff. This is so cool. Hang on. Okay, go, go, go. Nothing to it! Yep, signal's coming from somewhere inside that giant frickin' rock. Yeah, that scrap keeps taking pot shots at our monster! Uh, test your metal! Uh. Make him hurt, Lamora! Drop that spacey space cop! <laughs> Good 
Fighting on the outside of a ship is pretty epic. Yep, it's hard to call. Blew him up! Rip him off the back! See those branches! Hold up, no! What? He wants to know who will plant all these bodies with no dirt out here. I don't get what he's He knows we bury our dead. Oh! That ain't planting, you big goof. That's making worm food. Ain't no space worms. Alright, let's figure out a way to get through. We're in a rush, apparently. Try your blasters, Peter. How do we not become monster chow? Beasts are often attracted to bright natural colors. Let's keep pushing forward. Your will. I fear I will not be able to harm your child if she is lost. Of course you wouldn't let him, you big lug, but what if she don't give us a choice? One thing at a time. None of that even matters if we don't get to Warlock. I'm just saying. I hear you. You can wait. Thanks, bud. No! Raker ain't running away again. We won't let him this time. He has nowhere to go. Any bets on what's down there? Guys, it's not too late to surrender. Yeah. Just drop your glasses and we'll call it even, okay? him in his own lair will forever recognize us as his superiors yeah well he's lady hellbender's pet now and she does these things are built like freaking terminators no we will be their terminators Smash them up! Peter, 
Really? Your crazy plan is actually working. I never expected Lady Hellbender to show up here. I wasn't sure we were ever gonna find Fool. Ah, we did that, not just me. You're the one who brought us all together. And kept us together. Music back, well, you were the one who chucked it into space. Hey, it worked, didn't it? No harm done. Psychological harm was done. You gotta get through this. Gamora, I got snip. this. Back into a hole. Great. Like holes. Ah, uh, giant robot. I hate these things. Not even sure it is. Service. 
You really think those things have people in them? It wouldn't be the weirdest thing we've seen. They're creepy either way. Come on, we gotta go topside again to meet Warlock. If we survive this, we should invite Lady Helbin to join the team. Uh, there ain't no room for her on the ship. She's like three quills high. One and a half quills, at best. Her armor alone must weigh six quills. You know what? Let's head to oh! Incoming! Oh! Oh! <laughs> now that was unexpected. Fortune favors us. We were not sucked. Unless Breaker shuts off the gravity. Just have to hope he's too busy with the ritual to think of it. Are we sure Warlock's all the way over on the other side? Yeah. As long as we keep moving forward, we're going the right way. We have found purpose. We will not die here. If we do, we'll see you at the top. Where are you going, Quill? Just blowing my gut on something. Perhaps Lady Helbender will join us in our final battle against Magus. Something tells me she's got her hands full. There are large hands. Strong hands. Yeah, I get it. Now where the flark is he going? It's called scouting, okay? It's a shame Lady Hellbender didn't have this kind of army to back us during the Galactic War. She's building her legacy. We are fortunate to have her now. Yeah, let's stay on her good side. Taking a spacewalk in the middle of a brutal dogfight easily fits into my top ten risk. Is that you in there? Da! Spasiba, Guardian of Galaxies, for helping Cosmo shake away promise. He is no longer chasing stick that is snake. And look, Cosmo is bringing no Yeah, we noticed. And family. Say privet, my pops. Oh, it's good to have you back, buddy. Ha! Cosmo is very much like filthy fleas. You are thinking he is gone. Until he is biting on your ass. Burn. He's such a good boy. Nerd. Cosmo is best of boys. Burn. Burn. Now we give these brain fleas the bites they deserve. Attack! I had no idea nowhere could fire death beams. This is sweet. And that dog has his paw on the nuke button. I'm gonna have to be nicer to him. We should keep moving. We are moving. Well, we should be doing it faster. Once we get inside that rock, chances are we're gonna have to go toe to toe with the Grand Unifier again. We'll stomp on his toes. I've only got one of his arms. I'm dying to complete my collection. Yeah, well, he spanked us the last time we took him on. Wait, what's that? Acknowledge my velocity! Woo! 
<laughs> that happened. Yes, it did. Whoa, the tracker signal is way stronger in here. We're getting close. Something tells me Raker's cronies won't make this easy. We're here for Adam Warlock. Just bring him to Washington, we'll let you go. I will eat! 
enjoy this! Our opponents do not... Great idea, bud. If we pull this off, we should come back here and fill up our cargo hold. Sell the ore on the black market? Payment for a job well done? Well, we ain't making that jump. Peter's got this. He does? The Quill possesses the magical weapons. Safety inspection. The dead, Drax. Correct. You know what to do, Quill. <laughs> this rig of his forces are perceived as martyrs. By who? Any church member has already accepted the promise. That seems needlessly treacherous. I know, but it might pay off. Rocket! Is your warlock in here somewhere? Unless he did the tracker. Yeah. I don't think he'd do that if he found it. He know we're on our way. Ho 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 ho! Guys! It's like Christmas back here! What is Christmas? Are you in danger? I'm good! Present for me. Another one for me. Me again. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh yeah. A little heavier, but totally worth it. Just be careful on those jumps. This old workbench is kind of crusty, but I do some of my best work with crusty tools. All right, Rocket, let's prep for the big game. Let's do it smart. This may be the last chance we get. Ding, ding, done. One fine tech upgrade, hot and fresh. Oof. Got a crick in my back because of that. Okay, I think I'm ready to end this. You and me both. What the? Hey look, they get the Adam Warlock channel all the way out here. Speaking of Goldilocks, he should be right on the other side of that giant murder bot army. You've got to be kidding. They've got it locked down with a faith shield. Think we can unplug it like we did on Nowhere? It's worth a shot. Aggression by the Universal Church of Truth. Cannot be tolerated. Lethal force has been authorized. Surrender will not be considered. Holy Scott, they came back. Of course they did. Give them hell, world mind! Guardians of the galaxy, it is imperative that you evacuate this vessel before we fire upon it. Hold that thought. Adam Warlock's on this ship. Incorrect. Adam Warlock perished in the Galactic War. He's here. Alive. He is still alive, right? The Church abducted the Golden God. We intend to free him. You said it yourself. Adam Warlock is the only one with the potential to stop this. Very well. We will focus on reducing support forces. For now. Act with haste, Guardians. We, uh, hit a little bit of a roadblock. Step forward. And witness the full destructive potential of the Nova Force. Yeah! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> the world is a powerful magician! 
Stick it to him, Groot! Looks like we're on mop off duty, guys. Ah! They are no challenge in this state! Feels like I've been shooting that big bot for hours! Big built us! We need to walk in refrigerators that far! Tin can really tested our metal! Hey! Got one! Grab on good. The drone, not the cheese. Grand unifier. Scott, everyone down. Finally come to confront the captive. Castigate him for how far he's fallen. Shut your mouth for once. Got a clear shot. Don't! We can't risk a fight from up here. You show up! On the very eve of our ascension. To what? Take everything from us once again? Me? Tell me what I ever took. My faith! And not just mine. You abandoned your flock. The very church you helped me build. You let us believe our god was dead. And with you, any hope of restoring those we lost. I thought that... You promised me, my son! I promised only partnership. You sought subjugation. My mistakes were many, but your mania is not among them. Enough! Enough of this! The true divine vessel awaits. You're nothing but a husk, a faded shadow. But even you will feel the light. Hear me. Halt this horror. Raker! Guardians, breach my bindings. Even now, Raker readies his restoration ritual. Rocket, can you bust him out? If I gotta... Let me guess, Raker's power proved more pernicious than predicted? There is little point pondering possibilities past, daughter of Thanos. Soon feverous faith will flood Raker's fledgling and feed the fiend within. Not gonna happen. We're gonna shut it down together. Right? Right. Okay, let's go, people. Come! Time dwindles as we dawdle. I could put him back up there. Don't tempt me. If Magus finds physical form, its insatiable cravings will consume all of creation. Unless you eat Magus first. A severe simplification. We must excise the entity gripping the girl. But how much of Nikki will remain? If her light lives, it lingers lost, dissolving in a dream discarded. A pleasant fire. Well, end of the world here, remember? Hurry, go! Just in time for the miracle. Grand Unifier, I trust you can hold them to bear witness. Easily.
Almighty, push through your pain! Fulfill the promise! Monster! soon and I want everything to be perfect. Uh, Nikki. For her birthday. That's today. Did you forget again? Listen to me, okay? None of this is real. Are you kidding? Dad, you promised you'd help me surprise mom for her birthday. No, I didn't. Yes? You said you'd help fix the hollow projector, and the cake still needs candles, and I can't find the present we got her. Oh, come on, Nikki. None of this seems oddly familiar to you. Oh, no, I ordered it from the bakery planet. Okay, that part was always weird. No, I baked it. Okay, that... Okay, Nick. What if I told you none of this is real? Obviously not. It's not focused right or something. Can you refocus it? Yeah, okay. That's still pretty cool. It turned out so good. I was sure I messed part of it up. Speaking of messed up... Yeah. It's hollow, and the star system around it, and I think I got all the moons. It's beautiful, Nikki. Just need Mom's present now. I think it's somewhere in my room. Birthday, love Nikki and Peter. What am I supposed to do? Did you find it? Yes. Okay, put it with the others. Great, the gift. Put it on the table. Does anything I say here actually matter? We got it. On nowhere. Remember that artist's alley we went to and the painting she really liked? Of Krilar? Guess that answers my question. Any chance we can talk now? I don't think so. How does it look? Looks like you're knee-deep in this promise. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Oh, boy. Peter! Open the door! It's Matt. I'll make sure everything's perfect. You get the door! Oh, am I ever glad to see you. It is crazy weird in there. Nikki's on a loop. Nothing I say matters. We need to find a way to get through to her. Peter. I know, I know. We need a plan. There's no we. Okay, I get it. I have a lot of making up to do. Peter. If we're gonna do this... I'm dead, Peter. Yeah, but... Not like dead, dead. Right? I heard your voice. No, you brought me here. I'm seeing you here now. You're seeing a ghost. Some part of me is inside the soul stone, but not in any way that's real. We can figure it out. Maybe we can no. find a way. You need to focus on her now. Help her accept that I'm not coming back. I just. I wish you would have told me. 
Told you what? About Nikki. You know? You, me, 12 years ago. Oh, Peter. I did the math. Her promise isn't real. Yeah, I know, but the rest of it is. Right? You and me on Mercury? I remember that night. So do I. But she isn't your daughter. She's not my daughter. I don't understand. She's a war orphan. On the shuttle home, the Cree Council was rounding up anyone who wasn't full-blooded enough. Nikki was this... tiny little thing. I couldn't let them kill her. So I'm... not... a father. No. Well, not her father. Well, okay. That doesn't mean she doesn't need you. She has to let me go. I tried. She won't listen. She has to. The birthday, the presents, whatever it is that's keeping her attached to some fake version of me, of us. Destroy the illusion and make her listen. You know I'm not equipped to. Yes, you are. You have to be. I know. Mom. That was her, right? She's not coming. Of course she's coming. I guess that was just... just Carlos telling us she's running late. Which means I still have time to get the music just right. Destroy the lie. Hey! What is wrong with you? I'm sorry, Nick. No! I can fix this. Stop it! Stop it! Stop ruining this! Mom will still come. It's not real, Nikki. None of this is real. I hate you! You're not my dad! You're not my... Yeah, kiddo. I know. You ruined it. You ruined everything! Mom was gonna come in and... and... All I want is to see her. Whatever walks through that door... Won't be your mom. You don't know that. Well, there's a lot I don't know. How to keep my foot out of my mouth. How to not get arrested. How to console a 12-year-old whose very legitimate grief might just destroy the galaxy. But this... The promise, Nick. I know a con when I see one. This isn't about you. You're right. I'm not going to pretend to know what you're going through or what you're feeling. I don't even know what I'm feeling. It's like... empty... and heavy at the same time. I keep seeing her, but then as soon as I focus, I... Is this what it's always going to be like? I don't know. It's different for everyone. But there was no one like your mom. She really, really loved you. I need her back. I don't care if it's not real. I need things to go back to how they were, even if it means making the same stupid game for all stupid eternity. Just the thought that she might come back is better than admitting that she never will. And that... And then it's all my fault. If I 
hadn't distracted her. You're not the reason she's gone, Nick. Don't put that on yourself. Why not? It's true. If I had just... It's not true. You didn't make that thing. You didn't release it. You're not the reason your mom was where she was. There's a lot of blame to go around, but there is no way you deserve any of it. It could be her. Only you can reject the lie, Nick. All I can tell you is me. I don't think it's her. I think it's a very bad thing that wants to eat the entire galaxy. And you know your mom? For all her faults? She's not the galaxy eating type. But it doesn't matter what I think because it's not my promise. I can't destroy it for you. So let's just say that the creepy thing at the door is not my mom. I can do that. I still don't know how... How does anyone... Am I just supposed to smash cakes all day? <laughs> Breaking stuff is pretty cathartic. There's other ways. What are you doing? It's an earth thing. My mom taught me. The idea is that you light something to remember someone. To pay tribute. It's not magic or anything. It doesn't bring anyone back, but... You know, it's, it's a gesture. A small thing in the face of a very bad thing. Sometimes that's all we have. Thinking back to the elevator, she was angry at me. Not that angry. More like, uh, lovingly concerned. Hey. Whatever happens, you're not alone, okay? There is something I do have to do alone.
have to or Golden Boy's toast. Focus on Raker's fan club.
Before you, your benevolent guardian of the galaxy. <laughs> it is done! Okay, okay, we'll give you this one. Shall we? Our door and masses await. So, we actually won? Black and right we did. We must save the entire galaxy more often. Count me in! Next time, I, I promise I won't almost destroy it first. No more promises from you. <laughs> <laughs> we earned this moment, people. Let's make sure we bask in it. There you are, you old dog. We have multiple dog report items to discuss. Case is closed. No need. Guardian of Galaxies. Live up to name. They had some help. Oh, gosh! Who are all these little 
guys! If Guardian are looking for more work, Cosmo always chasing problems. I think what we need right now is a nice walk. Delicate? <laughs> and who is this precious little candy in his golden wrapper? <laughs> Ew. Gross. Uh, I, uh... Lady Hellbender, we regret the death of so many great beasts, but we honor their sacrifice. They died protecting their pack. There is honor in that. Will you return to Seknarf 9? We must first build a worthy home for Foom, or he will devour every creature on my world. If he gets loose again, give us a call, and we can discuss rates. As we calculated, the Golden God proved key to dismantling the Universal Church of Truth. A sound summation. How about a little credit for not letting you make the worst decision of your collective lives? Twice. Twice! Your additional... Data analysis did adjust certain computational... Ow. You can just feel the world butt clenching. What, wild beast? <laughs> what foul fluid? Foolish, fickle creature! Uh, behold, one of the other guardians of the galaxy. <laughs> what did he say? Yeah, that'll show you to your room. Except we don't got a spare room, you big lug. No. Flark, no. Hey, Groot, you give her yours. I got a lot of important scud in mind. I'm glad it's this ending, and not the really sad one. How many sad endings were there? Ugh, a lot. Oh. <sighs> Please proceed. Ah, you go ahead. No need. I insist. No, I insist. Please, proceed. This pointless pageant of politeness plagues our progress. Which is why you should go first. Very well. I will voyage through the vexing vestibule. Sky's the limit, I guess. Clearly it is not. We could rob a bank. We are broke. No, I, I am not robbing a bank. That's illegal. And super fun. You are corrupting the child. Relax, Drax. It's a suggestion. A potentially really lucrative suggestion. Hmm. 
Sorge mir. You okay there, Gold Bond? It is irritating indigestion. <clears throat> Nothing of note. Okay. Well, there's a bathroom in the back if you need it. So, Mantis, now that the universe is safe again, what are you gonna do? I don't know. I guess I'll go back to Lamentis. Although, I hear Earth is really nice this time of year. Ooh, maybe I'll go check out Contraxia. You can gamble there. Uh, shouldn't we give Contraxia a bit of time to, you know, unpromise? Either way, it is no place for a child. <laughs> Seriously, man. Oh, you don't look so good. Where's the first aid kit? I have basic kit training. We do not own a first aid kit. What are you talking about? We have a first aid kit. Engine tape doesn't count. You probably just need some ginger ale. Don't worry about little old me. I feel simply... Fabulous. Come on! Clark! <laughs> Magus. Oh, yeah. This is the one where Golden God Guy is consumed by the bad thing and tries to destroy the galaxy? And probably succeeds. Why does it feel like bug girls inside my head? I'm inside all of your heads. This way, Magus can't overhear your super amazing plan. Which is? Oh, no. It's better if it comes from you. Him. Me. Destiny makes three. And we're all gonna die. My final form. The new norm. The stone. When that thing attacked my mom and me, it was terrified of the stone. Yes, I too have sensed its fear of the stone. Oh, oh, okay, uh, so we just gotta get him uh, closer and then throw a magic rock at him? Exactly. Tiny, whiny, vexing specks. Woohoo! What are you all up to? Mantis, how do we lure in the big bad? It's time to kneel before the new idea. I'm doing what you do best, Guardian. <laughs> nah, not being friendly. I think she means aggravating. If anyone can piss off a god... It is us. <laughs> Do it! Kneel and revere your god. For who better to oversee? <laughs> Bravo! Bravo! You're applauding him. I'm clapping ironically. Does he know it's ironic? <laughs> yes! Applaud your god. Nope. You grant nothing but lies and false promises. And you're the worst! Then why are you clapping? For mocking you, idiot. What? Ah! I said kneel! Oh, Slark! Are you kidding me? Stand back! I got this! Nikki, yes. no! Get out of there! Trust me! Yes, this is right! This is the way! Everyone's thinking! Now! You heard my lady! Go, go, go! Everyone, stay close! I'm a parking yes. sheet! I can conjure armies at will. 
diabolic, more pathetic little creatures! Come out of tracks! Try them down, crew! Bits them! Lay you on the herd! So I guess what we get from celebrating early! That was an impossible foe is the best kind of celebration! Something to throw him off. Yes, infuriate him with your carelessly chosen words. Beleaguered brats, like little gnats. Cat, bat, muskrat, mat. You can rhyme. We get it. Seriously, how is it possible for you to have gotten even more obnoxious? Cat, bat, splatty, splat, splat. Quadro mat. You begin to annoy me. It's what we do. Combat format. Diplomat! <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Ah! We don't make sense? Ever since we met you, you've been nothing but a giant pile of word vomit. And now you gotta rhyme everything too? Inconsequential ingrates! Okay, pretty sure we derailed him. Ah! He's doing the planet thing! Nikki, you ready to save our thoughts again? Just be careful. Hey. I don't say it enough, so I'm just gonna say it. I fucking love you guys! Everyone good? Well done, child. Okay, I definitely think we're getting to it. We just gotta hold out a little longer. What? Get ready to squash some bugs! Snag him! With pleasure! Ah, pile cretins! Your increased numbers mean nothing! Bruh! Meat blade! I shall break their bones! This is how it's done! Freeze me! We're all pretty sure this stone thing is gonna work, right? It's all the best we've ever had! Brace yourself! Hey, Quill! Groot says the boss Get the point! Where's the old claw? Prepare for pain! How should we celebrate our destiny victory? Yeah! Ah. Sooner or later, everyone will fall before me. The entire galaxy will fall. Guys, the stone's being weird. Now is the time, Guardians! Reel them in, Quill. Only way to get a clear shot. Submit to me! I said submit! Time to get it through your oversized skull. We don't give in to anyone! I mean, seriously, have you met us? That's right! We're the Guardians of the Galaxy! We have business cards! And we'd rather die than submit to you! You dare defy a god? Have you no notion of my... Oh, shut up! What did you say? She said you're the worst! <sighs> Your mockery mocks my very...
Peter Quill! Ah! Ah! Fuck. The stone's gonna fry you, Quill! Like it did the first time! Just run! He's got to be okay. Right, Mantis? The important thing is that he did it. You all did. This was not his sacrifice to make. Paid. <laughs> Not yet, but. Does this mean it's over? Like, over, over? The Magus is contained for now. The most insatiable entity in the galaxy is once again a prisoner of the Soul Stone. All that is left is determining what to do with it. Sell it. Destroy it. Those are both terrible ideas. <laughs> he says we should combine both ideas. Stone is neither bomb nor bauble, and not yours to bear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just tried to kill us and eat the galaxy. You cannot contain this calamitous force. I created it. I am its keeper. No one can keep that thing. Mantis, the chances of the galaxy being consumed again if we keep the stone? Very high. And if we give it to Goldilocks? Not as high. The child was correct. That perhaps the pull of its power would one day split my lone soul asunder. But I am not alone. Uh, just to be sure, the chances of the bad galaxy thing happening if we sell the stone? Astronomically high. The best way to make sure the Magus doesn't get out again is to make sure together. You know, the second you feel any indigestion, I shall call upon your crew. Motley though you may be, I fear we've fallen friends. And I accord my atonement for the trying to kill you and eat the galaxy. A momentary misstep. Yeah, well, sorry for... All the mean stuff we said about you. <laughs> the mark of a man is to be bridled. None other than he himself must be mandated to toil as... Does he seriously always talk like this? I mean only to say... We're good. It's just that... I'm not the one you gotta convince. Oh, certainly not. Certainly, yes. Well? Oh. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm convinced. <laughs> it's fine! Really, I can sleep on the couch. The couch is filthy. I've seen the rodent relieve himself on it. She could sleep in Gamora's room. 
Since when? Oh, come on. You're a girl, she's a girl. You can play dolls together. There are so many things wrong with that. Well, she ain't getting my room. End of discussion. <sighs> so you just have to build another bedroom and maybe a bathroom and convince everyone that adding another teammate is a good thing. A 12-year-old teammate. One who may or may not need you to provide parental stuff. I mean, come on, man. You did just save the galaxy. Twice. <laughs> so, obviously, embracing this new role is definitely probably gonna be just, uh... It'll be fine. Come on. <laughs> I mean, if you can handle Raker and the Magus, pretty sure you can handle a 12-year-old girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little guidance here, some homework there, throwing a few vegetables. Where the flark are you gonna get vegetables? I guess... Gru could make vegetables. Yes! Yes, that seems like a reasonable thing to ask him. And if everyone's willing to make just a few reasonable sacrifices here and there... I mean, you know what they're like. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely, uh... <sighs> They are not fit to be around children! Drax is a convicted mass murderer. Rocket is volatile and mean on a good day. Gamora's only parental model is Thanos and Groot. Groot could only say three words! And you know what? Nikki's a part of that now. She's one of the family. And family means sticking together no matter what. Even if you gotta wing it every step of the way. My man. Peter Quill! Peter Quill, we have decided the child will take your room. You will take the couch. It was unanimous. Wait, 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 what? Okay, we'll talk. How are we on those coordinates? Alrighty, just give the word. Where are we going again? <laughs> to buy more business cards. Oh, it is. Just think of all the tech we can find. I am Groot. Hey, it's only illegal.